Oh. Oh my gosh. It's another raccoon stream. Oh. With the official brand being Raccoon Pizza Party, you know. The household name. Hi. Oh my gosh, we got someone in the chat. It's a Mulpa. Hello. <laughs> She's been waiting here for a while. <laughs> uh, this one started a little late. Because I was out shopping. Raccoon shopping. As one does. And, uh... Yeah, this, there's a lot of traffic and a lot of lines, so... But I'm here. Uh, I definitely wasn't at Trader Joe's <laughs> again. Can't stop him. He's gonna have a fridge full of only tikka masala. I've been keeping a running count, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I know Maple knows about this now, but uh, we're at three. We're at three, folks. Three documented tikka masalas have been eaten. Don't listen to this say Tikka Masala isn't British. Okay, I believe you, Maple. <laughs> I can't believe, just like everything, Maple, the British are trying to take <laughs> to take away something again from the Indian people. Every goddamn time. <laughs> it hasn't ended. <laughs> I got my eye on just I'm completely throwing my co-host under the bus. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Moira. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Uh, oh. Uh, I'll do it later. <laughs> the trader who sold me that insisted it was a snap to use. Just plug it into the mainframe, and it should take care of the rest. Maple, of course I didn't nuke her. Of course, if you played around with the system <laughs> oh, no. after that, we'd probably learn even more. But you can deal with that when you get there. <laughs> nuke her. Horrible. I have a deep respect for her and her quirky ways. And sadly, we've already deactivated the bomb, but in a different playthrough, imagine, uh, she'll be living the rest of her life as a, just a go-getter ghoul in, uh, the underworld or wherever it's called. That is so odd, though, that you can, <laughs> you can just ghoul someone in this game. Um, I was gonna say, so... <laughs> just this one thing I wanted to mention that I thought about after the last stream. Uh, so there's so many options in this game to gaslight Moira, and we haven't, we've of course taken, <coughs> excuse me, uh, none of them. We have not lied to her yet, but I just wanted to mention that like the thing we do with the Meyer lurks is kind of the only way you can gaslight her without actually doing the lie uh, skill check. So just, you know, some, some, little quirky uh you know uh what's it called loopholes in the coding there because i was able to before accepting the quest just get rid of all the Meyer lurks in the memorial and then I, then i put the then i accepted the quest and put the camera in there and so i guess it just didn't trigger that i didn't harm any of the Meyer lurks because i just didn't get that quest yet so lucky us it's like I gaslit and no one is the wiser. Besides you, audience. And yeah, she does take it well, becoming a ghoul. You're right. <laughs> she she really doesn't let it get to her. Just the, the fact that everyone around her is dead. <laughs> and she's been ghoulified. Uh, Why, I'm flattered. What would you like to know? So there's some more dialogue options I saw here about her experiments. So it's definitely curious to hear about these two new ones. How's the book coming? In the last stretch now. Yeah, I missed the, the last dialogue for her. Is going to be called Revive. Oh. It's all about how we can rebuild society and humanity, learning how to use old tech, preserving knowledge, building communities, and so on. It's a little ambitious, <laughs> yeah. But why aim low, right? I wonder how well that goes in the future games. I know her book is in Fallout New Vegas, which is really fun. Uh, just to see that why I'm come to the next game, but. Uh, fuck, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I'm just upset a little bit, but it's not that big a deal. We didn't get to hear what the second chapter was really about that much. If you, uh, if we were still working on it, we could have pressed this, I think, and she would have talked about the second one. Uh, what do you do here? How, how is this the first time I've asked this? Why, I'm an inventor, a tinkerer, and a general genius yeah, introduce of junk. yourself, Moira. One person's junk is another's treasure, you know. And traders bring in lots of junk, so I get dibs on anything particularly. Lots of junk, nifty. you say? Sure, I don't have special as much interest to for sell, this raccoon. But it's more fun this way. It is. 
she's so she's so right for that. Being a fan of junk. I so no two butts about it. We're gonna do our little thing here. Little raccoon thing. Uh yoink. We're probably going to Oh, that'd be really good. I was looking this up. You no, know, I think I found a new way. <laughs> no, stop with the old feed comment. Um I just recalled I was looking through the Fallout Wikipedia the uh, earlier today or yesterday and I forgot that you can cure your uh chem addictions at the my first chemistry set. So, we're definitely going to sell as much as we can to get that now. These two little things are really nice in this game. The My First Infirmary and the My chemi First Chemistry set. So many... So many nice workarounds so you don't have to rely on like a doctor in this game. Fallout New Vegas is kind of like man more mandatory. They're like items that could cure your addictions but... You know, you can always get those items. Uh, oh. No. Right, I want to buy from her. Eh. Eh. There it is. My first laboratory. Also known as a laboratory. I was trying to combine the words laboratory and lobotomy, and it didn't work out too well. L laboromy. <laughs> Just sounds like a, a one of the dwarves from The Hobbit, Boromir. I'm never going to use all of these. So much rad away, I just don't need really rad X because I'm always gonna just get rid of my rads at my medical sh stuff. At my medical stuff, that's all I was gonna say there. Uh, okay, fine. I got a pretty big discount. I don't think I need to take all my cabs with me, unless. <laughs> I always find a good way to, uh, I always forget about my ammo, and I realize it. I can just sell that to get, to get my way in the world. <clears throat> oh no, too much. Too much mustard. Uh... I forgot to say when. Okay. Good hunting. You can keep the two caps. Toots. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Toots. Toots. <laughs> Toots. <laughs> I'm glad that's the part you heard. Oh, right, I got this. Okay. Not bad. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. What a champ. Uh. Wow. I'm so much sneakier now. Oh, right. Huh. Did you know the human bi Oh no. About the stomach or the spleen. Nice. Uh 
Nah. Yeah, it's all fine. So my plan for the robots area is that I'm gonna stealth boy into it. Just like run all the way to the big computer and then see if I can activate it. Then I'll be able to, uh, you know, they'll be able to come back if I want to like get all the XP from busting up the robots. Because busting always feels good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, uh, oh, I remember now. Let's do this. Okay. Now we're good. Sure, wear this because I'm going to be sneaking. I want to add one to luck while we're at it. There. This guy's going to sneak into a big robot factory. Oh. Uh. Yeah, might as well. There's a. Oh, I'm, I'm getting ran at. Here, you've done so much for us. Thank you for the 16 caps. That's a thing that they don't really have in New Vegas much. Just people that run at you for various reasons. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's just something they don't really do in the next game. Wadsworth. Okay, now that I have this. Detox. Because <laughs> you're the courier. Currently brewing up a mess. You run at people. It's so true. Now we get to be, live the game through their perspective. Where are the NPC? Wow, it's really far out. Hello. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. Okay, well. There's just one raider. Oh, no, there's a few. Nice. Wow, you really know how to hold your own out there. Oh. You mind doing it further away from our bunker? The exact opposite of what I thought. your corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. How, well, I am, I am pretty stinky, that's true. I'd hate if my corpse ruined this lovely wasteland. I'd rather clash with the drapes. <laughs> it'd clash with, it, it, it would clash with the drapes. it <laughs> Shut up and get that fucking gun out of my face. Sure. Wrong answer, oh god! Oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Well, um, these guys have no sense of humor. Keep your head down, idiot. Okay. Again, I, I did kill one of them. Last time. The reaction was not warranted. Fuck. Okay, well, I killed none this time. If you're going to get yourself killed out here... I don't... Thanks for the help. Who are you? Uh, okay, fine. Defender Anne Marie Morgan with the Outcast. But all you need to know is that I've got a gun and a low tolerance for screwing around. Uh, who are you people? We call ourselves the Outcast, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before tribals. you ask, we were cast <laughs> that out mean? from that company of zeros who call themselves Lions Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. Fair enough. You collect technology? Um, how do I sign up? Such a- what a nerd. We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walking. Old sap. But we don't. But if you want to help out, well... We, <laughs> we have a simulator we can chuck you in. You bring in technological devices, oh. and we'll pay you a finder's fee okay. based on the device. I like the sound of that. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. I'm not sure. Tell me more about this work. 
We may be the best equipped people in the world, but we've still oh, only no. got so many people out there looking to recover the past technology. Locals like you can cover more of the waste to uncover technological relics like power armor or power cells. We it's just me or she quieter than normal. Any junk trader. And we've got more ammo stores, so you can expect a better trade for the tech. Maple's doing the angry cat face at these guys. Hate these guys. I don't like them much either. Sounds good. I'm in. 100% for okay. Maple. <laughs> First you'll have to talk with Protector Kazdik. You can work out the details with him. Look, I just I just want the caps. Don't you have something better to do, kid? Yeah, this. Okay, maybe I can't do that. <laughs> I I totally did miss. Well. Um I guess I'll do this quest very quickly. I mean, there's probably it's probably not that long of a quest, right? It's not like a whole DLC. Wow. Can't see me, hee <laughs> hee. I've been getting better at this minigame. Capturing. Okay, I'm not that great. Okay, well it's not it's not anything that ends with ING, so that's useful. Um It's possibly guardians. Okay, whoa. That's a lot of things it can't be now. Weird. Let's see, the only thing that's common between the two is the letter N. So... I think that's the only thing... Uh, double checking quickly... It looks like it. The N is the only thing in the same place. It's really weird. Uh. Oh, I guess maybe it's the R. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's correctly. It's correctly okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just because like those. If it couldn't be those two, it'd have to be something like really off. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. This raccoon still got it. Okay, I just did that for your sweet XP. I'm out of here, toots. I'm Protector <laughs> Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. Double toots. It better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local. But Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? How could she have told you that when... <laughs> Whatever. I didn't know a little more about this job before I was signing. It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. What? Big things like power oh. armor or energy weapons. Oh, shit. Best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. Wow. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or... It's pretty right useful. Away. Sucks that I yeah, sold those, uh, you out there. my power armor just a sec ago. Take the job. I'm on the case. That's what I like to hear. You can start RV Birdman. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Do you think the stream is loud enough, by the way, Maple? The, uh, the, specifically the game audio? I know these guys are, like, are the, I think these guys are just a little quieter, is what I'm seeing on my end. Yeah, I got some technology for you, right here. Let's see. It's practically. How'd you like... Okay, one sensor module. Can I get a stim pack for that? There. Everyone's favorite. Wow, that's really... These guys just generate stim packs. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll learn all about you guys later. I have some robots to... peruse. Peruse Hilton. Eating some Stilton. <laughs> is is like the end form of this thing that I do, like me eventually learning how to rap? I, I think it might be. That's where uh, 
all streamers or all YouTubers eventually end up. They end up making a oh god. End up making a music career, and I am definitely a YouTuber at this point. I mean, come on, it's been like two weeks. Uh, I'm pretty sure on my resume I can include um YouTuber. Oh, great. Actually, that's great, because I just got a perk that helps with that. Oh, it's... Watch your meat. Oh my god, no! Uh oh. I didn't save. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> oh, I did save. Oh, I did save. I'm such a smarty pants. I didn't even know I was. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, good thing I saved because. Now, where are you? Bastard. Because now we can be scummy about saving. Oh god. I'm gonna tenderize him, actually. Melee's pretty overpowered in these games. Ow. <laughs> See ya. Keep it going. <laughs> the whacked. The whapped. The whipped. Um. Oh, there's my meat. Another triumphant adventure for Squintment. Uh, Squint. The raccoon. Oh. <laughs> the most undoxable person in the world. Okay, this is a bad challenge. Don't let's let's not continue <laughs> this route. But I will quick save. So I can continue this route. Another robot. Oh my god, it's a Yaogwai. This whole game is just me getting terrified by every single thing I come across. I could eat some of his meat to get more damage. I'd be safe and do boost up some of these stats, though. Okay. Poor guy. Oh my god, that instantly killed him. <laughs> oh great. Good to know I have an escape plan. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a lot less intense than I thought too. Well, great. I guess, you know, blasting him with 400 points of damage really uh, works. Shit. Uh, no, this isn't useful against robots. I'm so scared. It's Tenpenny Tower. Oh yeah, I just remembered that you get a quest from that area where you can eventually wear a ghoul mask. I think it makes regular ghouls not, like, attack you on sight. 
Robco. We're almost there. Three sixty no scoping. In a world. I think there's a handy guy giving out um robots over here. He's not giving out anything that also sounds like the word handy. Who's booming? <laughs> Maple. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC what a tinker. wasteland. He looks like a, a, a Pinkerton. Actually, the, the the guy who is a Pinkerton in this, the, he's a uh, guy in Rivered City. I think he looks very similar to him. He also has the same voice as Nathan in in town. Uh, apparel. E Remember me? <laughs> Tinker Joe at your service. Robots for sale, robots serviced while you wait. Wow. He's a handy guy who get, who services you. Amazing. Have a look and see for your Oh. Wow, that's just free money. Another shattered I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. <laughs> I'm a spoken. Bring them now. <laughs> these robots are married. Custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but well, RL three's a bit finicky about the company. It's a bit frisky. He keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Uh. You might be. What's wrong with me? These robots wait till marriage. Whatever. <laughs> It's Cody, hello. I am not for sale. I am only a demonstration model. Tinker Joe would be glad to handle any of your robotic needs. Have a nice day. Oh, I do have a few needs. De oh. A map. There is hope. There is a safe place. Find the Temple of the Union where slaves are made into free men. Look to the north, near Canterbury. Canterbury. I need a delicious Canterbury. It's like a berry that's the size of a canter canterlope. <laughs> I love canterlopes. My favorite fruit's the canterlope. <laughs> Just like how my favorite Pokemon's the Butterfree. We're sneaking, and we're sneaking, and we're sneaking. Oh. I feel like I could kill these guys without it being a problem. It's fine. I just feel like the robots will get to them. Yoink. Wink. This place is full of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe all the robots aren't active yet. It's just all the insects. Hi, everyone. I just didn't realize that, huh? Well. Let's have some fun uh, just clearing this place out, then. Yeah. <laughs> I pet that dog. He's a very cute looking dog. I'm sorry, but we're gonna... Is that a dog? It's a giant mole rat. Pet him. I'll, I'll play fetch with him. How about that? <laughs> That's probably the closest thing we're gonna do with him. Yep, we're gonna play catch. 
Might want to look away. <laughs> or play fetch. Cody, look away. <laughs> this is a, a rodent repellent stick, so it's designed to specifically bonk them twice and dispense of them. Poor thing. <laughs> no. Why? This place is just full of robots and and uh, roaches. And Ferrera Rochers. I wish this place was full of Ferrera Rochers. Those things are so addictive. Isn't that relatable, viewer? I mean, Ferrer Rochers, right? Brass Canucks. Oh. Canuckles. Wow. What a bountiful bounty paper towel. Lots of sensor lots of sensor modules. Those are basically now worth a whole stim pack, so very useful. Camwa. Oh, yeah, the big ones. They sell for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they're really cool. I remember you got one of those one year. I need to get you one of those this year. Hi, guy. Looks like you were here for a while. You've eaten three of them so far. You were top three candies. Hmm. I used to really like take fives. Those were good. I like sour gummies a lot. I'm very into sour gummy candies. I like how tart they can taste. Um. Just a classic Hershey's bar too. I I, I specifically. I like Mr. Good bars, just because it's like Hershey's with peanuts in it. <laughs> I think those are tasty. What? I... Okay. Someone's chunk was in there. Yeah, I think that's a... Uh... Those are three that I like a lot. Take five, peanut bubber. Oh, sorry. I should close the door. Camera and money. What was he doing in here? Bethesda, you dog, you. How about you, Mopa? What are your top three? Oh. Bonk. Skittles are pretty good. Actually, I'm into pretty sugary candy like that. Like, I guess gummies would count as the same category of, like, like candy that's pretty much sugar. With chocolates, there's kind of, like, a few ingredients there. I know I can, like, I think when I, when I get take control of robots, these ones come back alive. I'm pretty sure I can, like, 
go around and like hit them now. And so if they don't have heads when they come back to life, they won't, you know, they won't start up. This makes me want candy now. I want candy. Da 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 da. Oh god. I uh, want Mr. Good bars. I like the name of the those candies too. Good. It's I think it's Mr. Good Bar, right? Not just Good Bar. I do find it fun with when they uh. <laughs> I like it when they gender the candy. I like there's Mr. Coffee. That's another brand of Japanese coffee. I think it's just Good Bar. Okay. <laughs> when I have them, they're a Mr. Good Bar. Oh, yay. Mr. Mr. Squinton. Bonk. So many things to scavenge. The scavenger. Or if they have to disagree. I like that you're talking about left and right twigs. Or the uh, Mike and Ike's. <laughs> That's a theming. There's a theme of candies that have two names. Finding it like a good decision to be like, we need to drum up some controversy. So, <laughs> oh yes, Mr. Pibbs, Doctor. I think are there Mr. Pibbs? No, what am I thinking of? It's the one that you like, Maple. If I know this, yeah, Doctor Pepper. It's just Pib. <laughs> Mr. Pib is the one I like. Yay! Oh my god, Cody. Now you're gaslighting. It's just Pib. <laughs> Maybe it is just Pib, oh god. <laughs> I think it's Mr. Pib. Now I'm confused. <laughs> oh no. But let's never forget the uh, berries and cream Skittles guy. Or maybe he was, uh, I think he was either Skittles or Starburst. Let's not forget him. It was Mr. Pib. Pib Extra is the reformulation of Mr. Pib, a soft drink created and marketed by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Oh, wow. Okay. Some armor in there. Maple loves Pib. Drop the... <laughs> drop the mister. Hello there. You are in the wrong place then, Riku. This is not a raccoon-free zone. Although there are free raccoons in the area. In your area. already back down to one I read up on the motorcycle helmet when I was on the Wikipedia page getting the image for the current thumbnail and uh, it said it offers really good ex uh, it, you, like when it's full health it gives you five durability on your head damage rating or whatever resistance rating but uh, it, it degrades like super quickly which is very very noticeable Oh, I didn't equip the... Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah. Maple's coming to visit me. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a really good time. I love when the maple comes to visit. Oh, fair we too. Scrap metal. Bonk, bonk. So steamy. Steamy. I 
I always remember doing this mission when I used to play this game back in the day. I like this location a lot. It's like a cafeteria that's coming up too. It's a bunch of pool tables. Yeah, in there. God, I need to drop all these fission batteries. They really weigh a lot. I'll probably be like 60 pounds lighter after I drop them. Oh yeah, they're 10. Yeah, 30 pounds lighter. Holding a lot of junk I don't need. It was just like quickly picked up because I didn't want to not press grab all. Cattle dog. Cattle log. Mm, chunky. I don't think I searched the floor here. Did I? I didn't. Look at so many goodies. All the scrap metal, each of them turns into 10 caps at least. So now an extra of like 300 caps right now. Not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, Jackie, hello! Watch this raccoon lose 60 pounds in one s with this one secret. A fashion dog. You're like a, a toy poodle. <laughs> You're there to, to act as fashion, I assume. Nice to see all you hanging out. Oh god. Sorry, had to be done. I really prefer it wouldn't have come this to down to this. A ball, I'll take that. There's this one mission in this game where you do get like a lucky eight ball. That if you just carry it around, excuse me, you get an extra luck to your stats. Look forward to that item. I think when I get that item, I'm gonna like respec one of my special stats just so I can make sure I have like so I can have ten luck whenever. She was just very handsome. They are. Oh. oh, got it. Come here, meat. Love meat collecting. This game has turned me into a a depraved meat collector. <laughs> Why gotta say it like that, though? Meat Mafia. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Gazoon tight. Just looks like you're sneezing every time they explode. <laughs> oh no. Chunks got everywhere. Really nothing in here. Okay. I mean, it's a neat little location, sure, but... Oh. Spoke too soon. I was bespoke too soon. Who's there? I heard... I heard... Mole rat chewing. There he is. There he was. Supposedly they're allergic to this <laughs> repellent that's on here, so it's like this is a reaction, <laughs> an allergic reaction that they're having. <laughs> it just makes things steam up too when you bonk them, regardless if they're a rat or not. I haven't used this item on like humans ever, I don't think. The uh <laughs> I just think it's sneezing every time. 
free complimentary water. Not bad. I did like a double take there. Cool. Speaking of which, nice little, nice little stealth, stealth boy over there. Oh. Medicine skill book. Don't know why that's in our robotics company facility, but not complaining. Might have been the infirmary, I guess. That that office room. <laughs> They're allergic to getting hit in the face with a stick. Of course they are, Jackie. I guess I can have I guess I'm allergic to that too. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> I really don't recall the Gibbs like ricocheting everywhere and affecting the like rag dolls on the robots. I like it. God, I'm happy I just saved right now. It would suck to have to just do all that scavenging again. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. It's just, it would suck. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. That, like, when you when you play Fallout 3, you have to just get used to the game potentially crashing at a horrible time. And you have to do it. You have to do, like, a whole, a whole huge area again. But I've made my peace with that after playing... Bethesda games for so many years. All I can do is just get back in as soon as possible, not dwell on it. <laughs> this is the the service I get for buying their games. Oh, oh no! It was a trap. I got encumbered right when a roach bonked. Come on, get some. Get some. Get. Get. <laughs> <sighs> Dealt with. Just a feature of their games, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Don't mind me. I'm just so entertained. <laughs> Okay. Don't mind my my stretching whimpers. <laughs> Some very goofy things going on in my chat. Some very silly hypotheticals. Widget. I hardly know her. Just over cucumbered. There we go. Oh, I'll eat a bunch of meat. Why not? Bet you won't. Whoa. Science book too. Not bad. Not bad. When will it be bad, Squint? Oh my god, lying congressional style. You know what? It'll never be bad, because bad things don't happen in Bethesda games. Like I was just talking about that. Come one, come all. Watch this raccoon... Uh... <laughs> Talk in circles <laughs> while he walks in circles. I think I heard a robot. Oh no, that's not. That's a radio. Oh my god, what if, what if the radio played copywritten music and it's like a race for me to get to the radio before it starts playing? It's kind of what it is. Although I think all of e Eden, uh, the Enclave radio. Oh, I didn't want that. All the Enclave Radio songs are literally, like, public domain, so I think we're fine. I've mentioned this in a past stream, but speaking of public domain, um, this wasn't public domain, but I had a lo-fi hip-hop, um, playlist playing that claimed to be copyright-free, and the back end of YouTube actually registered one of the songs, so what an epic troll that was. 
just like it, it flagged my video just saying hey the song is in this it, it was like the song it said it was like a lo-fi song i just find that really goofy i feel like i need to comment in the <laughs> the description uh hey uh so <laughs> any any person who wants to use this <laughs> No, it's um, lying. I want to see the dislike to like ratio on that now. Maybe it's fine that it flagged it. Like, so when when the YouTube backend notices and flags stuff, it's just saying like, hey, so we detected this media, and so far it, it actually just says like, this will not impact your video. No longer well rested. Okay. So, I wonder if. If my videos are like eventually going to be monetized, which hopefully someday, that's like a thousand subs away. <laughs> um, hopefully, like, so again, they said like it's not being impacted, so I wonder if it would impact a video that's monetized or not. I feel like it would, and that's just saying like because your video isn't monetized, it's not impacting anything. We shall she. Well, we shall she. Someone needs to tuck in this raccoon. In some warm trash. Aw. I was so sweepy. Do I need to... Hold on. I save before I do this. Uh, oh. Okay, good. Uh, don't forget, everyone. You've been visited by the good sleep bingo. You will be blessed with cozy, restful sleeps, but only if you come at sleep tight bingo. So remember, everyone. If you want to have some nice rest tonight... You know what to do. Okay, back to it. Sleep tight, bingo. Oh, I did pick up another skill book, by the way. That was pretty nice. Okay. Sleep tight, bingo. Good work, chat. I think we're gonna sleep well tonight now. Another battery. Um. Okay. I heard like a, a oh oh, phantom cone. Thought I heard a trap. Uh, get sprung. I'm not talking Sir Mix a lot over here. I know I'm over Cumberbund. We'll be not Cumberbatched in a minute. I just want to hold on to it, even though it's not the lucky one. Drop the knife, too. Oh, they're alive. We're not too far uh, from being done with this dungeon. This epic loot dungeon. Eat everything. That's right. That's why I quickly lose weight. Just like in real life. <laughs> Surprise! Okay. Gone full circle. Full circle. Everyone's favorite real creature. Everyone's favorite cheese wedge. Uh oh. It's a trap. That's an inter interesting idea. I've seen it done in certain games, like that that pack rat game or whatever. But just uh, the fact that I wanted to quickly search that and that there was something that would encumber me being like a trap. So having weight be a trap in a certain way. Fun concept. Yep, what a concept. I need a soundboard that has that on it. <laughs> the ice is getting pretty thin. Might as well jump in. Hey now. 
It's the ice we skate is getting pretty thin, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's all let's all karaoke Smash Mouth together while we're at it. Um, while I'm looking at the lyrics. Uh, oh, so many stealth boys lately. So sneaky. There's only one thing left alive in here. I think it's a rat or a mole. Do you think it's a mole rat or a roach? I think it's a roach. It is. Thanks for joining me at that for the Fallout Door of the Explorer segment. I asked the audience, so what do you think that is? I know Dora doesn't say that, but it's close enough. <laughs> Dora's like, what do you think that is? <laughs> Wrong answers only. <laughs> I saw that meme floating around the other day. So many stealth boys. This is un... un... unsanity over here. Utter... sanity. Um... Leave the mainframe alone. You could have told me that's what she says, and I would have believed you. Never seen Dora, <laughs> hello. That's awesome. Oh, see, can I drop this thing? No. I want to unlock this. Whatever. Oh, no, you have to You stick it in there, and then you have to unlock it. Because everything starts uh, coming back alive. Hello. Hello there, Stefan. Uh, it's all the processing worship. Okay. Now quickly. Hack. Certainly. Damn it. Mutations. Um. The eye could be in the same place. Okay. Circuitry. No. Oh, you've been watching the VODs. Glad I could actually catch a stream. Hey, that's really gl I'm really glad to hear you're interested in my stuff enough to watch the VODs. That's cool to hear. Glad to have you around, too. Uh. Goddamn. What do we got here? Well, uh. S. Oh, it could be decisions. Yeah, I. Well, no, it can't be decisions, actually. Because it'd be. It'd be four things common. S I No Oh, I, I kind of lost track of which ones I I was like keeping track of fuck uh <laughs> Obviously Definitely not obviously Top five game series. I love playing and watching. Aw, I'm glad you do. I'm glad you like Fallout that much. I I'm a big fan of the first. I was gonna say first two games, but they're not the first two. Ooh, religious. I'm gonna look at that in a sec. Um, yeah, I I like Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas a lot. They're so fun. And I have fun watching them too, actually. I could see it being religious, and I feel like that's a good guess to, just to, like, double-check, like, um, to see what the, uh, correct words would be if it's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> uh, again, I can just, like, redo this if it's, if I can't find the little shortcuts here. Ooh. Yes. Okay, we're good. We get a bunch of tries now. iOS, yeah. It's definitely iOS or the same ones, or I thought it was.
<laughs> yeah, all the playthroughs that are on YouTube of Fallout 3 are really old now, you're right. It's like this game is definitely come and gone, so... I was looking up, like... <laughs> I saw this YouTube video about, like... Uh, how, tips to... Tips to become a big YouTuber. And it, <laughs> basically what the guy was saying was, like... Look at your competition. Study your competition. And, and be them. And just take everything they have. And don't be different. So... <laughs> um, I was just curious about that. So I looked up Fallout 3 Let's Plays within the last, like, month or year and uh there's a couple going on but there there aren't many there's like less than five at the moment that are ongoing from my uh research as the video put it creatures oh there's an s at the end uh Yeah, I think creatures. I think that's a good guess. Yes, good job. Just double checking everything we had left. Good guesses, everyone. This, that would have been a perfect time to bring up Door of the Explorer. Okay, which one do you think it is? <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Jackie. Uh, orientation guide. Congratulations on your transferal. To the position of robot protocol operator. Trusted coworkers will be the standard pro protect protectron uh, models stationed throughout the facility. Pisk operation covers day to day functions. Coworkers. Okay. Pest extermination. That's nice. Let's get rid of all the, the rodents and rad roaches. Total liquidation. Removes your coworkers' humanoid safety protocols. Oh no. Is only to be used in the unlikely events of a criminal inst inst uh, insturgion? Yeah. Or communist attacks. <laughs> Robot shutdowns, temporary, turn off your co workers. Okay. Press you'll find your work <laughs> simple, rewarding, and extremely safe. Enjoy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with um, total liquidation. No, uh, I'm going to go with the, the rodent one, or the, the pest control. Uh, Basic operation, initiate pest extermination, cease total liquidation. Uh, oh my god. Stress testing? No! I don't want to do that. I'll just, uh. Just put on pest control. Initiating sequence alpha 2 roach. <laughs> uh. Not a roach! Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, there's a giveaway through Fallout for Fallout 1 on uh, Amazon Prime right now. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, that thing did not listen to me. Um, okay, well, let's have a beer to calm down. What? What was I supposed to do? Uh... Oh, cease total liquidation. There we go. Uh, right. Yeah, I was saying initiate. <laughs> Ceasing sequence commie attack. Thank you. I didn't cease the liquidation. I see you said that right now, Jackie. Cool. I'm a programmer. I know what's up. I totally knew what was going on. What would happen if I just... Would they just, like, shut off if I... Well, whatever. I'm gonna save for now. I want to see what they shut off if I get rid of extermination mode. Yeah. Move along. Just hanging out. What's a basic operation? Oh, error. Factory power supply insufficient. Alright. I'm pretty sure I could come back here later on once I get like a certain perk. Like a robot expert perk. I can just like sneak around all the time and just deactivate all of them for a bunch of experience. I think I can get a whole like level out of these guys. Because there's supposed to be a lot of them walking around now. Okay, I'm clicking on him. Didn't have anything to say. Move along, please. Please. Move along, please. <laughs> what do you have to say? Along, <laughs> I have a feeling they'd all say the same thing. Move along, please. <laughs> Oh. 
Um, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, railing, preventing me from falling. What's the point? What's even the point of railing? Move along, please. I know what the point of railing people is, though. Move along, please. I've read the book on how to do that. Or, I mean, on what that's for. See, in my past life, I used to install railing. It used to be a, uh, it used to be my occupation. People don't know that little fact about me. Hey there. I used to be a plumber. I used to lay a lot of pipe. So, <laughs> so, uh, there's that too. And I used to wear a lot of foundation. Because I was a, a, a contractor and I would lay foundation. Okay. <laughs> Sounds totally legit and <laughs> not like innuendo. <laughs> Look, YouTube, I read your rule book, okay? You s clearly state innuendo is allowed. We're not going over this again. I looked it up, like just general information in Fallout 3 about uh, chem use. And apparently you can get addicted to quantum. I don't, I don't think I ever drank enough quantum to realize that. And who's what now? <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to... I'm gonna... Did I save? I'm just gonna double save. Um, okay. So I just want to double check if you can get addicted to quantum like the uh, wiki told me. Wait for all that stuff in the top right to go away. Top left. Increasing your radiation level, yeah, but... Bring nine in a row. That's enough to give me uh, an addiction, I think. If it does trigger. You have to wait for all the bottle caps and over-encumbered things to go by. Come on. I didn't see the effect happen, so that doesn't that makes me think it didn't happen. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the pog face the vault boy keeps making. Okay, fuck it. I'll try getting addicted another time. Why is it so hard to get addicted to soda? Actually, it's probably really easy to get addicted to soda. It's very readily available. I like soda pop. I've drank a soda or two. Just eating those to get it out of my inventory. Make me a little lighter. Great. Detox. Make something new. Oh. Huh. <sighs> what if they made the decorating this game more easy? Just, uh, eh, there. Good as new. It's so finicky, interacting with this item. You okay there? Oh, I could have eaten one of these. I know I need... I want, uh... Oh, I already did it, okay. I had a skill book that I forgot I just used. What an idiot! This guy stinks! I forget if those have a use, so I've been collecting them a little. Ten percent chance to get addicted, so it's not easy to accomplish. Okay. Yeah, you must have seen that thing. Or maybe you looked it up specifically, but there's a nice little chart on the on the Nukepedia. That, uh, just gives a nice little percentage list of all of them. I think, like, some, like, buff out has just as likely or even less likely chance. Or no, not buff out, uh, Mentats. If I recall, Mentats also had a really low chance of getting addicted. Uh, just looking through this shit. 
Oh, you made your own Nuka Cola. We got a super fan in the chat. Did you follow that recipe that's in that one uh, official or maybe unofficial uh, Fallout recipe book? I think I've seen someone follow that recipe too, actually. I think I saw, like, just <laughs> back when I was addicted to YouTube shorts for, like, a month. I think I saw that pop up. This one guy was, like, really into Fallout. And he uh, did the recipe book guide for making Nuka Cola. Which seems pretty fun. Uh, seasonally good. Ooh. Yeah, I'd be interested in trying homemade soda someday. Wait, there is a recipe? Yeah. I think you have to put, like, lemon and lime in it. <laughs> if I recall correctly. I-R-C-C. Know what I am? E-A-N. Gotta look it up. <laughs> with any interesting technology lately? Oh, this raccoon been fiddling. And I went down to Georgia. I reactivated the robots and was able to modify the programming. Because I'm a hacker. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. <laughs> Tell me all about how it worked out. That's the ticket. Oh, strength. I hacked the mainframe so robots would be a challenge. <laughs> that's funny, that's the strength check. Uh, even after programming, the robots were of questionable values and uh, as allies. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, uh, made by humans. Well, probably manufactured hmm. by other robots, but... Oh, good <laughs> you point. Know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. <laughs> Here, have a few. <laughs> oh, and take my book on science. For Sleep some reason, left I just take of it into the computer Peter Griffin. Parts, but I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Nice. Another skill book. Not bad. Ready to continue research on the last yapter. I want to find out the history of how a successful settlement like Rivet City got started. Mm. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine... A whole building full of books. Whoa. I'll need you to gather information there for me. Epic. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? The official recipe has a lot of ingredients you can't find in a nor normal grocery store. That's funny. That's unfortunate. But also it made me lol. I'm sorry. I did chuckle. Researching local history sounds easy. Yeah, especially because I have the fast travel to Rivet City now. Because I just... I booked myself down there at the end of one stream because <laughs> I was just like, fuck it. I want the intelligence bobblehead. Uh, researching local history sounds ise. Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In hmm. this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there <laughs> and do some researching. Jackie just said she looked it up and said so there's something like browning sauce. What the hell is that? <laughs> In the recipe. I have no clue what browning sauce is. That sounds like... Like the... <coughs> that sounds like the Pikmin version of brown food dye. The fact they would call it browning sauce. <laughs> oh, it's used in gravy. Peaches and gravy. Uh, what's the value of digging up history? Yeah, what what can be gleaned in history? You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic Very failures good, and Moira. the never-ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Yes. Let's say a big pile of mentats. <gasps> I got a shipment Tasty. of those in recently. Do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. Oh, okay. Sounds reasonable. I'll research Rivet City, uh, City's history. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay. Will there be the recipe for Nuka Cola? Wait a minute, that is a thing you can get in here, I think. I think that's a, a thing you can find in this game. What What the hell? <laughs> it's really funny, we were just... Okay. It's it's like Pog. I'm, I'm, I'm Pogging in real life. It's just like Good in the game. With that research. 
Browning sauce for gravy, browning sauce for baking, which are two very different things. <laughs> Careful, the liquid's liquid is hot, and sticky. Oh no! Yeah, you don't want you don't want to deal with interacting with burning sugar or hot sugar. <laughs> that is not a good situation. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Okay. Um. Well, I found this place that gives you just free stim packs. I'm gonna get like. I'm gonna get like 30 plus stim packs, like 33 if I'm not mistaken. If I can find that guy again. Let's see if it works like this. If it isn't our local scavenger. Oh no, that Well, okay. Does he want scrap metal? I was thinking of uh sensor modules is what you can get. Oh wait, here we go. Square parts for you. It's practical. How'd you two scrap metal? There. Oh, I understand. Okay, so for every two scrap metal he gives me. Okay, that's that's reasonable. You have to do this one at a time? Are you kidding me? Aw. Oh. Okay, I guess that that's a, like a, an annoying bottleneck here. How much ammo does he give me? This is gonna take a while, folks. It's like a thing I want to do, like off stream almost. There you go. Twelve. Okay. So the way I see it is, two scrap metal is um either twenty caps. Or I can trade 20 caps for a, a stim pack, which is pretty useful. Need a mod, yeah. This won't take forever. I mean, look, we can have fun little conversations, like like a chat and a streamer does, while while I'm doing this. Um. Have you have you guys ever tried flipping a coin, and and noticing that you know you, you think it'll come up 50% of the time, but you know if you. If you really do it in real life, will it? Think about that. Right? I mean, probability. It's like, it'll probably happen, but will it probably happen? That's just the goofy thing, huh? Oh, God. Okay, good. <laughs> We're done. Thank God, I don't have to continue that conversation. Um, <laughs> how about, how about tell me about the outcasts now that we're here? Tell me about Andre 3000. We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lions wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. Oh. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name Outcasts and wear it with pride. These guys suck. <laughs> fuck you to the old man. He may have struck our names from the great codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end. And our <laughs> we live in a simulation anyway. Restored. That's optimistic thinking there, Stefan. Stefan. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm Punk punk Chef. I like your other name. Too. I mean, both names are good. <laughs> punk Chef is fun, though. Um, How do you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel? <laughs> Our name means fuck you to Brotherhood of Steel. How do you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel? Which one? The original Brotherhood out west? Or the shit that Lions turned it into out here? What do you mean the original be... Bro of Steel. I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before from the ashes of humanity. Died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. Oh, but that's that's like saying, oh, these guys suck. It's like saying local government doesn't matter or whatever, you know, it's like, come on. <laughs> it's important to, to think about the small picture. It's like, it's, <laughs> I saw this meme the other day that was pretty good where it was like, like, uh, I think it was like just a, a cartoon of a person behind a computer and like a thought bubble saying like, uh, I'm just one person. I, pro I couldn't possibly make it any change. And then it was just like 
that image of the person by the computer copy and pasted like f like 50 times underneath them so it, implying that like because a bunch of people have that mentality you know <laughs> nothing could get changed because of it or whatever <laughs> it was a pretty cute meme apparently there's a 51 percent chance that a coin will land uh when it is flipped there's a slight difference will land I can't see that word because it's behind <laughs> the reaction. Uh, hold on. That's enough. Sorry. I'm stopping my stream just so I can read this lovely chatter. It'll land the way it, it was flipped. Oh, interesting. 51% chance it'll land the way it was flipped. So there's a slight difference. I wonder why that is. We need to make well, simulations to make it you? more accurate, more of a 50-50 chance. That's what uh, that's what Google tends to fix when you when you search uh, flip a coin Google for me. Which? Sorry if I registered anyone's Google device. I need. I'll, I'll stop saying that word. <laughs> uh, how did Lions change the Brotherhood? Hmm. I wonder if he made it about fixing local things and not about the big picture. I love when this game like has these two, like when they have questions that already kind of answer themselves. Oh, he used to be as tough as the rest of us. It wasn't so long ago we fought side by side to scourge the pit, but somewhere he went soft, stopped <laughs> looking at the big picture, and started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. No, that's me. He had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all. That's when we objected and became outcasts. I'm gonna try finding that meme in a second here. I, I want to see if I can find it. It's pretty cute. Um, long term. So, what's your long term plan for dealing with the Brotherhood? Oh no. The Brotherhood came out here to recover technology from the eastern cities and bases. If lions won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the Western elders. Lions is going to be put in his place, even if that place is in front of a firing squad. Uh. I think it has to do with how many times, how many flips that it gets and some weird rule of <laughs> physics and movement. I can understand that. Or... I mean, I, you don't fully understand it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't either, but I can understand where they're coming from. If you put it like that, just like, uh, there's just some property, I guess, where if you flip something, and <laughs> it's just more likely for its top side to flip right. upward. I could see that, like, being a weird thing. Like, I guess it, like, runs out of steam halfway, or like maybe it it has the the momentum to get fully the way through most of the time. Out of a 360. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested in reading it. God damn. Look well, you know at how many stim packs I have now. I, I can take on anything. But yet, I will still find ways to die. Okay. Let's go to Wivit Witty. Let's get Wivit with it. With it. Let's get with it with it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. With that. Remember there being like like an ammo box somewhere on this bow? Anyway. <laughs> they just instantly find it. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's just little Easter eggs here. That's good. Can't wait to go home. Do you like Rivet City? What are you referring to? I don't remember going up there. Don't remember like seeing these stairs. <laughs> Let's see how the game handles walking upstairs. It does it pretty well. It's a good ramp. Are there mines up here? No, it's a baseball field. <laughs> cool. It's so silly how there's this just like motorcycle object you find everywhere and there's just always laying next to it these two parts. 
Oh, you're, oh, you're at work. Nice. Only have half, half an hour left. That's dope. I'm glad I can help, uh, hopefully, quicken that half hour. Quicken. Yep, just, uh, walking around, Rivet. Oh, hi. There's people up here. It's two kids. Hello. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. What do you want? Uh, so where's your family, kid? <laughs> My mom is probably drunk. Oh, My God. My dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Jesus. <laughs> oh my What's God. What's problem, mister? Uh, here, look, I have childhood heart now. I bet you aren't afraid of anything. Would you steal some ammo for me? <laughs> Such a bad influence. Uh, well, interesting. I had that one interaction. It opened up all this stuff. Weird. Uh, do you know anything about Rivet City? How it was? Oh, I see. Because it's with the quest. How they made it? Anything? It's a boat. A really big boat. Thanks, James. Heard any stories about the city's history? Yeah. Dad built it to fight out the Mireworks. And Mom? She's like the Mirelark queen. <laughs> Helpful. Uh, yeah, steal some ammo for me. Of course I'm not afraid. I'll take it and he'll never know. I'll have it by tomorrow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Gotta run. Stay out of trouble, James. Whatever. Even though I, even though I just told him to get into trouble. <laughs> Nice. I don't recall actually looking off this side of the boat before. I know, like, there's probably an invisible wall. Oh, that's what it looks like over there. Huh. Neat. Uh, I'm gonna save, and I wanna see if I can get to that boat, that really irradiated one. on some radi rare opportunity to put on the radiation apparel. Got Lesko's lab coat and some Radex. Still two mini nukes for you once. That's awesome. Jesus Christ, pretty jaded kid. Yeah. Well said, Jackie. <laughs> jaded. Cool. Souls. Oh, yeah. I'm sure this <laughs> this irradiated medic medical stuff is fine. It was in a box. It's safe. <laughs> Where the fuck would he find too many eggs? Okay, I found the wall. I found the titular Pink Floyd's the wall. Okay, I found that can. Nice. Sweet can. Just like Homer Simpson once said. Every time I, like, you know, go this way, you'll see, like, the thing pop up, and then I'll switch direction. Nope, we're still good. Oh, okay. Figures his head. How how do you not get caught stealing those mini nukes? Good point. I doubt there's anything over here. I'm just having fun. Exploring the marshlands. Um, also, I just want to get back up there, to be fair. To be honest. So. Let's do some of this action. Really good sleight of hand. Just like in D&D. Like in Dungeons and Donuts. Dragons and Donuts. Delicious. Yeah, I can tell I'm not supposed to be on this side. And we're back. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. I think it's possible with a nat 20. With a nat 20 and a reasonable DM. <laughs> well, with an... I guess with a an not reasonable DM, I don't know. With a DM that'll accept 
weird stuff. Ooh. <gasps> squirrel stew! Oh, I can steal the squirrel stew, but not the noodles or the iguana bits, but the squirrel stew, that's... Apparently that's just, like, commoner food. I don't, I don't need to take any of that junk. Flight deck. It's just there. I think there's just like the, the security people barracks up here. Yeah. Oh, I, I hear a Mr. Gusty or whatever. That's because there's like a... Uh, take all these pork and beans under here. That's funny. Taking your beans. <laughs> He's snoozing. He do be sleeping though. He said good night, Bingo. He said sleep tight, Bingo, in the chat. I sleeping so well. Who sees me? Okay, fine. Keep your secrets. Light deck? Whoa. Yeah, I had a feeling it'd be higher up. Got a nozzle. There never takes squirrels stew. Aw, it belongs to a squirrel. You're right. That poor squirrel's gonna miss its stew. Probably spent a long time making that. Don't think it's easy for squirrels to make stews. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought he was like protect- he is. He's protecting an armory over there, but I thought he was on the inside of it. And on the other side of that door though, there's like two uh, turrets that are facing your way. The armories in these cities are so fun. They always have goofy little setups in them. Like in uh... <clears throat> in Megaton. Now they also have a silly little situation. An easy terminal. <laughs> okay. Flare. Okay. Uh, it's probably close as, as two of the same letters. Yep, it's close. Sweet. <laughs> Security log. Tomorrow reports about Mirelurk noises from the bow section. There isn't a damn thing that can be done about it. Thank you, thank you. As soon as we clean out one nest, another moves in. Aw, it's just a good home for them. Just wish everyone would stop bitching about it. <laughs> railing, railing, like my past job. On the flight deck is still broken. Problem has been referred to the council. Brock got in a fight with that sister character. Um, <laughs> if it happens again, I'm going to have to kick sister off the ship. <laughs> directly off the ship. Ooh, caught Harry uh, Hargrave stealing food at Gary's gallery. Tammy paid the fine, although uh, his blistered... She <laughs> blistered my ears the whole time. Oh, Poor guy. Getting the brunt of it. I do remember exploring this place a little bit. Another terminal. Track. Okay. Uh. Can't be drank. Drank. <laughs> it could be drank. Yep, it's drank. It's not drink, it's drank. <laughs> awesome. Who's trying to raise its squirrel family? Same thing. Poor squirrel. Uh, I kind of want some of these, yeah. Take the whiskey, why not? Hello. Um. Oh.
You won't <laughs> get away with that. Never happened. Anyway, for, <laughs> that crepe drank. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Uh, why wouldn't I remember you? Okay, look, I didn't know this guy's story. If he actually is contemplating this, I've... I've... <laughs> Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for Okay, that longer. was in bad taste, I realize, after the fact. <laughs> um... Wow, these are all... These are all horrible things. This is, like, early YouTube comments right here. Oh, uh, what was I agreeing with? If that's what you really want, I'll help you. Thank you. Oh, no! Shove. Should do it. No! 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 <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Haven't run into you before. Please, stop this, please! <laughs> Don't Our current Twitter comments. No! No! I fucked up! Yeah, real courage is living. Only cowards commit suicide. You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. I want to help him not commit suicide. What about Ted? He needs guidance. A uh, father figure. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. There. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't doing anything. See, I, I didn't connect. Anyway. <laughs> Evening. I'm just taking things one day at a time. You do that. Ah, thank goodness none of those happened. None of those uh, horrible events actually happened. <laughs> Jesus. That <I> shoot him. <laughs> Cody knows what's up. Oh, very hard. Relatable. I like to think of myself as an intellectual. I'm, I'm you know, I, I think I'm difficult. <laughs> That's what I was implying there. I, I, I would consider myself a difficult rating. That's why I'm very hard. <laughs> There's a guy literally commenting about me. I was commenting about, oh, commenting about me, like, looking at something that's locked. There, it's hidden. There. Cody, no. We saved. The timeline is ours, too. <laughs> the fuck with our comedic timing. Thank goodness we're saves coming. This is not going well. Oh. There we go. For nine shells. I was doing it for the experience, but still. Nine shells in a hard difficulty. To be fair, it wasn't very hard like me, so. I guess I'll let it slide. In here. Exploring, keep finding stuff out here. Truly enjoy, <laughs> yeah, about Bethesda games. That that Lockbing mini game is always so satisfying. I love how like I remember as a kid like sucking at it, but I've gotten so good at it over over the years. I mean, even as a kid, I was pretty good at it, but you know, I I would snap my lockpicks, I guess, on my first run, you know. But um. Their mini game in Oblivion is also pretty good. It's a lot harder too. But if you've seen how lockpicking looks in Starfield, they've like ruined it. They've made it really not approachable anymore, even on the like, on the sm on the easy difficulties. Lockpicking in Starfield just looks like a chore. It's it's a hard mini game, and I guess that's interesting. But I'm not really looking for like I I like I like the pipe puzzles in uh in, uh, 
what is it called bioshock one like stuff like that it's like it's tough but not too tough much like my the type of steaks i eat Evening. i really don't eat steaks even like i'm with maple and we go to like yes. restaurants and stuff maple doesn't really eat uh she doesn't eat beef but i uh like when steak's an option i like never get it because i'm not really that big of a fan of steak personally don't know why maybe it's just i've never had a steak that i've really enjoyed that much i think that's a big part of it you think starfield's lockpicking is easy nice oh, hey there. okay but you could see how it looks non-approachable to the average person right Mr. I mean, Mr. 400 IQ over here. You don't look so tough. And I'm sure it gets easier over time. Also, I'm just assuming, uh, Mr. Uh, sorry to assume. Hey there. I am indeed making an ass out of you and me when I assume. I go to for nicer restaurants is always looking for the fish selections. Oh, I know you're into fish, Cody. Not worth getting steak unless it's really good. It's a fair point. So I know I can just like steal the information about my dad from her terminal. I don't even have to do any missions for Dr. Lee, I think. But I'm not even going to look at the entries on this. I just want to get the experience. You can do the lock picking. I don't enjoy it. Yeah. In, uh, Starfield. Raised, like, raising canes. Oh, that's close. It's probably ruin? No. Yeah. It's not raised, it's rained. Yeah. You like good fish. That's making salmon. Oh, yeah, salmon's always delicious. Past couple months, it's always delicious. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna back out for a sec. Oh no, my precious karma. I'm gonna try reading two of these, and uh, if one of them gives me like a continuation on the main story quest, I'm gonna back out and like reload the save file. Hydro oh, hydroponics process. Okay, that's progress. That's definitely like with my dad. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna look up the council meeting minutes instead. Attendance, science rep, civilian rep, security rep. Yep, these guys. Bridge repair continues to be a drain on funds. Permanent bridge considered. But dismissed as too risky in case of attack. True. Yeah, I'm sure it, it wears away having to, like, draw the drawbridge all the time. Oh, I really enjoy good sushi. You like sushi, too. I didn't think about that, Cody. But yeah, that goes hand in hand. I love sushi. I am a big fan of rice. I know friends of mine who are not into rice as a as a carb. It's like their least favorite carb, and I feel like that's a fair opinion. But I, if I love myself a good hearty bunch of rice. Lockpicking is alright. I personally like stealing from people when I can. Gotta go back to that game again soon. Yeah. My favorite slice of fish. I've had is an entree of swordfish. Ooh. I know, uh, remember eating with someone and, uh, they ordered, like, I think a steak of swordfish, and it looked really tasty. I think they called it a swordfish steak when it's, like, this big filet of it. I like rice so much, yeah. Never had swordfish, but I love a good salmon or yellowtail. My favorite fish is the fish I catch. Aw. I hope that ice fishing trip went well, Jackie. I remember you talking about that a while ago in a Discord. Uh, bridge tech for non-residents proposed by Baron. Vote fails. <laughs> Hydroponics and city health continues well, thanks to the efforts of Dr. Lee and her scientific team. However, system breakdowns are commonplace, requiring much maintenance. Lee proposed recruiting other scientific minds from Tenpari Tower or Underworld. Oh, Underworld. I think that's what I called it before. Vote fails. <laughs> the vote fails. There's like only three of them to vote on it. So that means just one person voted yes for that, or maybe that's like they need everyone to agree. I wonder. Attempts to clear out the Mirelurk infestation in down below. Continues as usual. Harkins, Harkness and his team is able to contain them and occasionally wipe them out. They continue to nest in the area, posing a theoretical risk. 
If they ever turn aggressive toward higher decks. Actually, just closing off lower deck. Uh, deck four. So it fails. Once an ammunition allocated by the Myrler cleaning operation proposed by Harkness, but passes. Actually, leaves early to oversee hydroponic testing. Meeting adjourn. Hydroponics process. RC hydroponics have been restored to basic functionality. Easy enough, after all. Our research limited amount of clean water we can pro produce is enough for growing basic foodstuffs. I like that. I love the word foodstuffs. They need all three to agree. That makes sense, Riku. Jackie, make me fish. Oh, the ice fishing went well. We had perch fish fry. Ah, the next night for dinner. That's delicious. Sounds very fun. I don't like fried fish that much. Too greasy. Makes Tommy upset. I wonder if that's... Uh, that's that's probably a thing I've never realized about myself, that it grease makes my stomach upset. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Salmon trout good on the grill. Perch good for frying. Yeah, I like a good fried codfish. And a good fried cod piece. Still no progress on mass purification tests, and with all the maintenance that has been done around here, there's hardly any time to attempt new experiments. In any case, RC would, wouldn't would work as a location for truly large scale. Rivet City, that's what that stands for. Duh. Uh, decontamination. Infrastructure just isn't there, isn't here. And the idea of re recreating it again is too daunting to convince the rest of the council. And that's even if the process works. Worked. Okay, these journals I think are definitely a bunch of info about my dad. If I really wanted to. If I recall correctly. Nah. Oh, very easy. Is your dad was your dad also a raccoon? Oddly enough, my dad was Liam Neeson in this game. She's been hitting the sauce. I love toggling clipping so you can finally get things that are hard to get. Eh. So necessary I get the whiskey bottle. So greedy. Okay. Science lab is where I'll continue the main quest, but it's not right now. There's like a whole bunch of stuff yes. that I'm like that's you're supposed to do before you come to Rivet City. Really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I know this guy has some stuff that this I can a medical clinic. talk about. Please don't disturb any of my patients. <laughs> Trying to disturb the patient. Damn, Liam Neeson. <laughs> They're a mod to make it Todd. <laughs> you're in the Rivet City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Keto fry good is having good hot oil. Not enough hot. It'll soak in before it cooks. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I found some info on an android. What do you know about his the fa his facial surgery? Oh. That was all just an elaborate hoax. Oh. Wow. My doctor, right? Do some help. Radiation, medical supplies. Sure. He has he has some caps on him. You don't look hurt. So we got wait, oh. Nah, that's fine. Damn, I got a lot of stuff I need to unload at home. All the pork beans, pork and beans I picked up. Time to sell them. Oh my god, so much rad roach meat. Sorry, squirrel stew. It's poor squirrels.
cool. I'm really good on stim packs, so I really don't have to buy that many right now. Thanks. You know someone named Pinkerton. Pinkerton, eh? Pinkerton. That name takes me way back. <laughs> Todd Howard in Fallout is my dad. I would love that. Radiation poisoning. Whoa. Or was it food poisoning? <laughs> I don't recall. It's two very he different was things. telling folks that he founded Rivet City. All he did was break off the front of it. Or did he die there? I don't recall. <laughs> this guy's no help. <laughs> Jackie is very fish pilled. Fish pilled and oil pit oil fish oil pilled. Scallop allergy, oh no. Oh my god, that's really unfortunate to hear that they really affect you that badly. I hope you never touch a scalp again. I hope you're not allergic to actual scallops, though. Like, I know you're allergic to eating them, but I hope one day if you meet a scallop, you'll be able to, like, interact with one, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully it's not, like, a hypoallergenic... I'm sure scallops are hypoallergenic, so... It's probably just a thing if you eat them. Got any chems? <laughs> I could really use a fix. You can get that crap down at a quick fix. It's in the market. I'm a doctor, not a dealer. <laughs> I'll fix you as best I can. Oh, Star Trek! <laughs> Squint, are you okay? <laughs> also, I'd love to... I, I haven't had scallops much in my life, so... I do I do love shellfish, though. <laughs> when I meet a scallop at a, at a fucking... At a uh, tide pool, Cody. <laughs> at a tide pool... Have you seen Spongebob? Spongebob meets scallops. It's like Spongebob, okay? This place looks pretty easy to rob. Do you have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Oh, he wagged. Security well, is just a shout away. Yeah, Cody. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. Uh, well, I might be allergic to scallops. <laughs> Can I ask you about Rivet City history? Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know Wait, if we're dog. talking about this place's history. Oh. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for. It looks a while, pretty youthful for a man with that, that much gray on him. Here. Okay, well, thanks for nothing. I can hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix. Nope. There. God, I love Bethesda hiding systems. Oh, hell yeah. Leveled up. Now who's the gamer? Okay. Looking good. Good looking. Nice. Oh, one of those dog life fests. Then you could be a sea dog. Oh, here it is. The robotics expert just got it now. Damn, fast metabolism is really useful too. Well, okay. If I get robotics expert, that means I can get fast metabolism quicker than if I got fast metabolism to robot expert. So I'm going to go robot expert. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Plus, it's 25 more damage to robots. That's epic. But <laughs> I like how it's worded. Uh, with the robotics perk. With the robotic. Ro with the robotics <laughs> perk. Uh, you do an additional 25 damage to any robot. But even better, <laughs> sneak up on a hostile robot undetected and activating it will put the robot into a permanent shutdown state. Hell yeah. Where were you last mission? Eh. Not worth stealing. Oh. Take you. Okay. Goes in here. No. I do like the Nuka Cola, but okay, I like it enough to take it actually. <laughs> it's like a thunder shirt. Aw. 
Santa frozen in the middle of a boat. Oh no, seemingly uncomfortable, but able. But in reality, the vest makes me not want to move. Oh no, <laughs> it's really silly. Good to see you. Hey. Hey. So I know there's a place. There's like a hangar somewhere. Yes, that's locked. Yes, I can see you I think the hangar is a good place to. Uh, The hangar's a good place. It's like it's a bunch of history people. I think this guy's a historian, maybe. Father Clifford. I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. That's close enough to a historian. Who's St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. <laughs> Jesus. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. I'd be down to do that. I don't think I've ever done that. I've definitely not seen a sermon before. Uh. Uh. What do you know about Rivet City history? Yeah. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But it's a lot of dialogue for this mission. Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad oh. to speak with you on the subject. Okay, I remember Mr. Bannon. He's the guy that's on the council and also in the uh, marketplace. You're a priest. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. Oh, you should come to services this Sunday. I'll be That's telling fun, the Cody. tale of Saint Monica. Okay, I'll, I'll, he's really selling it. You should find a weighted blanket. It helps you <laughs> score better on your Pokemon sleep. That's funny. Uh, likes to make a donation. You would? I we humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, Saint Monica looks most favorably <laughs> on donations of one hundred caps or more. Shall I a hundred caps? A most generous offer. God bless you. Epic. Saint Mo I was rolling in caps anyway. Wow. Very good. Just wanted to check. Am I already very good? I am. Okay, I'm not paying him a hundred caps for nothing. <laughs> Caps? Oh, I thought I could give you some items. A kind thought. Now it's time for my post ten o'clock catchphrase. Oh no. Not that. Oh yeah, time to cheat at Pokemon Go. Woof. It's a lot better than the other catchphrase. You know, when, when Cody says, I'm hankering for some wankering. The classic Cody phrase. <laughs> this shouldn't be allowed. I shouldn't be allowed to bully people on stream. That's not... Hello. It makes me feel safe that's not fair. You're around. Okay. It's nice for you to say. It's not It's not nice to... <laughs> Cody be wankering. <laughs> say it again, because I started walking away. I said your favorite catchphrase. Cody's hankering for some wankering. <laughs> At this hour. <laughs> Let me say it again, into the mic. <laughs> but no, uh, it's it's unfair, goddamn, <laughs> that I'm allowed to, you know, speak one-sided here, and then my chat's only allowed to respond through text. It's really, uh, it's just unfair bullying. <laughs> Unlike regular bullying, which is usually on very fair terms, as everyone knows. No longer well rested. No longer well breasted. I'm looking down. That's not the case. I'm very well breasted. Thank you very much. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Abraham Washington. Have a look around. He's still alive. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little <laughs> slice of American history. I have a hanker for a wanker in. Louder for the people in the back. <laughs> Bed's nearby for me to sleep in. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my home, actually. Interesting collection, indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. 
Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States I need to sleep States in my own piss-stained bed in this game. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all life. is missing from the collection. <laughs> What's missing is my ability to stay awake in this snoratorium. Alright, I'll buy it. What document is missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document Judgmental. drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. Oh, Jefferson mentioned it Pog. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. You want me to retrieve the Declaration? Uh, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> Oh, I'll do it. I'll say that. Oh, would you? Oh, it would you? It so much to me and the society's collection here. So down, Gramps. What's this reward you were talking about? You'd secure your place in history. Oh. The man who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence. Imagine the fanfare. All the U.S. stands would be so proud of me. We stop beating around my bush, please. What's the reward? Sorry, my mind tends to wonder. I will see to it that you receive a worthwhile trade. I have in my possession the only known schematic oh, shit. For the creation of something called. This is where you get the railway rifle. The railway. The railway. And it's yours. This is where you get the railway rifle. That's awesome. Rail. Railway rifle is such a mouth, such a tongue twister. Oh my god. I'm sure every person who streamed this has realized that. Rail, ra railway rifle. Railway rifle. Railway rifle. Oh my god. Railway rifle. Railway rifle. Oh yeah, I'd love to be a part of history and bring you the Declaration of D Dicklependence. Excellent. You won't regret it. I promise you. Imagine. You are taking part in another I'm taking I'm American history. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing American history. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Uh, I have a few questions about that silly document made of beautiful, beautiful hemp. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. Uh, all this info on the Declaration, where'd you get it? Don't I don't like secrets. Well, um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. I sent someone like yourself after uh -oh. the declaration. She did some of the research for me. <laughs> but now I haven't seen her in a few months. Ah, uh, a few months, oh no. I wouldn't worry about it. Many have died for causes far less grand than what you're about to undertake. Okay, fair enough. What does the Declaration of Independence look like? A piece of what was called parchment. Sort of a thick paper. You can roll a fat dude with it. Writing all over it. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and Relatable. two feet wide. Relatable. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. What's the history behind this document anyway? Punk. On July the 4th in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McHarry in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing, y'all better the be taking notes. It's gonna be on the test. Known as the national anthem, the document was signed. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. <laughs> by plane, Thus presumably. the Evolutionary War. <laughs> That's awesome. Certainly. Evolutionary war, war. I love that. Can you tell me about the National Archives on my map? In the D.C. ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. Cool. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super oh, okay. mutants. No problem. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I like that when it shows up. Uh, do you know the history of Rivet City? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got wow. any idea about Rivet City. He's one of my leads itself. I thought would. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, hmm. but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the government. Okay, okay, I'll go to Bannon. 
Mr. Buchanan. Daisy Buchanan. Um, Leo doing the thing with the glass from Great Gatsby. Uh, well, I've looked around a bit. Oh. Uh, it's an interesting collection of junk. Oh, good. Looks like some kindling. Now I'll say it's interesting. Okay. Wow, I'm just... Yep. Have to go now. Oh. Oh my goodness. Feel free to browse our collection of the... Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. Okay. All this looks very fun to read. What? <laughs> the U.S. Declaration of War on Germany. Our collection is our copy of the inf the formal declaration of war made on Germany during World War II. Oh, right. Duh. That makes sense. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought they were implying a different... Like, it happened in the future. Uh, duh. Right. Who is the enemy of World War II again? Uh, <laughs> uh, by the government and endorsed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. While the document doesn't evoke the brilliance of the other masterworks like the Emancipation Proclamation, it still serves as a reminder of the world that the United States wasn't a power... Wait. Reminder to the world that the United States wasn't a power to be trifled with. I love, I love me a trifle. Declaration of War on China. Here we go. Although it is uncertain when the Declaration of War on China was made, some say 2066... Uh, 2077, like cyberpunk. Um, duh. Uh, when they invaded Alaska. Others say 2067, when the first power armor suits were deployed to counter their forces. It is still the last known document of note authored by the United States government before the bombs fell. Had the declaration had the tendon, uh, tenacity and might have a stronger president <laughs> and might of a stronger president behind it uh, says Abraham Lincoln <laughs> say Abraham Lincoln as an example of a stronger president who's to say what the outcome of those uh, termulous years would have been yeah <laughs> it's Fallout taught me more about school uh, fuck <laughs> no it didn't <laughs> sorry well, it taught me more about history than school did. I mean, I... I, I would say all of this has been correct so far. Um, Mon Monroe Doctrine. Uh, Monroe Doctrine was presented in 1823 by the average and unremarkable President James Monroe. Oh, the document warns the European powers of the time not to interfere with the affairs of the Western Hemisphere, citing the examples of com colonization and puppet governments as possible in interfere in intolerances. Oops. Intolerances. The Gettysburg Address. <laughs> you can't believe anything you read on the internet, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Capital Preservation Society is proud to have in its possession a copy of one of the most iconic and prolific speeches in United States history. The speech gives given by the astonishingly intelligent Abraham Lincoln on Thursday, November 19, 1863, laid the groundworks for what the world what would later become the basis of democracy in the United States and set the standards for a country with a government by the people, for the people. I'm doing these in the opposite order, but it's fine. Emancipation Proclamation, yeehaw! Emancipation Proclamation was a document issued by the breathtakingly charismatic president, Abraham Lincoln, in 1862. This uh, executive order was the beginning of the end of slavery in the United States, although it was issued during the Civil War, making it a war measure, uh, right. It paved the way for the 13th Amendment of the Constitution, which completely abolished slavery once and for all. I... Okay, so... 
I learned about this recently, and my source is literally a YouTube video, so that's not a good source, but and I think it's a YouTube video called, like, it, it was those, um, it's those, what is it? Um, I followed this channel recently. They make, like, they make, like, a, abridged, uh, versions of history in, like, a cartoon form, and they have these little characters they use. I'm, I'm literally going to my subscriptions to check what the name of the thing was. Uh, yes, Quentin Reviews, you got it. Uh, hmm. Maybe I didn't follow them. Oh, Oversimplified is what the channel's called. I just talked, I, I was, I got, I fell down a rabbit hole where I wanted to, like, watch a bunch of them. So, uh, he made this one about the Civil War, and so, uh, <laughs> for the historical document of Salmon Cat, God... I hope you've been watching more of him, because he's he makes really good stuff. I, I like that Quentin guy. Um, he, uh, the, the oversimplified guy, in his, uh, in his, like, you know, oversimplification of the Civil War, apparently, like, so, like, Lincoln's main goal with, you know, uniting the country in World War, World War II, oh my god, I'm so stupid, in the Civil War, so originally, it, like, you know, the South wanted to secede. Wh why they wanted to secede, it was because, you know, the, the debate over slavery. But they, um, originally Lincoln was like, you know, all gung-ho about the Civil War because he wanted to, uh, for, for half of the war, he was really interested in, like, you know, just making sure the, the country was united again. So his main goal was just to stop the South from seceding. But apparently halfway through the war, he, uh, he, like, like they said, they, he, penned up the Emancipation Proclamation and then switched the cause of the war to be fully on uh, you know, the, the the reason to stop the war is because of slavery. So, like, I knew that was always a big thing for him, that he didn't, he was against the institution, that institution, the idea of slavery, but it seems like from that video that originally it was about, like, him wanting to keep this nation together and then it became about slavery, which is, like, something I didn't know. I thought I thought Lincoln was, like, always about, like, <laughs> he was like an icon about abolishing it, but apparently <laughs> it first started as like he I mean, I guess he was like from what I understand, I think he was like, you know, he tried doing it in a way where he wouldn't have to. uh No, yeah, that was a thing in the video. He kept for some reason, like saying that he was not going to like ratify or he was he was going to keep that as like an institution. But then he like later on said he wouldn't want it. So I don't know what that was all about, but it was really weird to hear that. Anyway, um, for 1K, this raccoon can review something for you. I I think that'd be fair for 1K. Hell yeah. Stuck on <laughs> wanting to watch the Victorious video because I didn't realize it would be an episode to episode anal yeah, analysis. Yeah, like Saint has watched all of his videos, uh, or like all of the you know the Nickelodeon arc videos, but. Um, Saint, uh, Saint didn't, they didn't, um, grow up watching them. They actually found them kind of annoying, apparently. Like, anytime they saw it on the TV, it was because their sister or something was, like, watching it. Um, but, sorry, and then not to dox, uh, much, but, <laughs> so, um, they said they weren't that into it, but they still found enjoyment in the video somehow. I think it's because they like how <laughs> they like Quentin just as a person or thinks they're fun. Uh, and also probably enjoys their... I'm not going to put words in their mouth, but just that, like, it's interesting that someone who didn't grow up with them found the Quentin videos tolerable and enjoyable. Where me, on the other hand, I did grow up with both Victorious and iCarly, so I, I like, watched both of those pretty thoroughly back when I was a kid. So I had a lot to gain from those <laughs> videos, I, I personally. And Sam and Cat, I had no fucking clue about. Like, I definitely didn't... I was definitely out of like, watching cable television by that point. Anyways, hey look, there's text in front of us. Uh, fast forward to this timestamp, uh, retrospectively, if you want to skip all that stuff. Yeah, I never watched Sam and Cat either. Um, Constitution of the United States was drafted in 1786 and adopted a year later by the Constitution... Uh, constitutional convention, right, of Philadelphia. Of Philly. <laughs>
This document defines the organization of the U.S. government and sets forth the rule, the rules and regulations known as articles. In addition, there are modifications made to the articles by ruling presidents during their reigns, known as amendments, during their reigns. The society owns the only known copy of the document that exists, which was received from the ruins of the National Archives in 2256. Wow. We actually sat through all that, folks. I'm so sorry. I found that stuff interesting. Which is probably way more than most people would have. Squirrel on a stick. The squirrel is thick. They'll take all your shit, whatever. Still very good, somehow. Ooh, a hard terminal, you say? A relatable terminal. Okay, save here. These ones get really tough. Watch the shows a bit. Remember some of the episodes figured out. Just hours of rundowns of old Nickelodeon sitcom. Okay, well, so, okay, C Cody, he he really intersparses it, though. It's not, like, all review. He, like, he does, like, a chunk of, like, episodes that he, like, does, like, by a season or, like, by what he considers a season. Because he talks about, like, the interesting aspects of, like, why, this, like, it's such a messy thing, like, what seasons are in that series. But, like, I, I think it's worth sitting through because there are huge segments where he has, in quotes, intermissions where he, like, goes into a subject that's, like, about the series or about the series as a whole in the, like, universe. And, like, sometimes the intermission has to do with, like, the interpersonal dramas between them, which is, like, between the characters, which is not as, not that interesting. But, um, like, he, like, a lot of the other things, though, I think is pretty interesting because he goes into, like, the, the fucked up merchandise or, like, not, like, fucked up, but just, like, the, the jank-ass merchandise they have. Or uh, like different properties or things related to it. I, I think it's I think it's interesting. There's, there's more to fish in there. There's more to enjoy in there than just like only episode analysis. Equivalent. Nope. Are any letters the same in equivalent in television? Uh, is the I the V in the same place? It is. Nope. Yeah, exactly. That's it. yeah, Cody. That thing, the 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 stand-in box for for uh, <laughs> Ariana Grande, because they didn't want she probably wasn't available that day. She was busy, you know, being a huge superstar or whatever. Okay, well I know for a fact that there's a V in it, so that's kind of helpful. I saw one other V thing. I just want to make sure there's not another one. Okay, I think it's activi activities. No, it's not activities, because the eyes are there, too. Hmm. Yeah, how about this? No, the eyes. Hmm. Okay, so it, it probably isn't the V. Uh, what is the common letter between these, t these two first words? Oh, it doesn't have to be a common letter. It could be two different letters because they're all different now. Okay. It could be like the Q and the and the L, like in the first Q and L in those two words. Right. So it's probably not V. This one's tough. I mean, it's a hard one anyway, so it's supposed to be. <laughs> Dang, this one's gonna be a real uh, wrinkle, brain wrinkle scratcher. <laughs> uh, my brain is folding in on itself. Stop. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Intentions. Fuck. That one only is one letter too. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay, I got all my attempts back. Maybe I can delete some words now. So you have to look for these closed off brackets to do that. Okay. One word deleted. That was really unhelpful. Samantha. <laughs> I remember Samantha being one. And in the second to last place is locked in. Okay. That's helpful. Equivalent, not that. Inventions. Anything that ends with ing. Okay, so if I have a. Yeah, I should do. I should try one of the ing words then. Okay, let's try con uh, conducting then. Ooh, five. Half of the letters here, so it's ing is very likely. not too helpful because now it's two out of those seven letters are like oh god processing it's not, it's not processing containing containing sounds similar oh but that's all right that's six letters with a con yeah it can't be consisting or containing yeah contending my bad Protecting. Uh, no. Oh, is it activating? Or that's one of the ones I tried before. No, it can't be. Might be activating. Protecting, maybe. Oh, t t like acting. Banding acting could be it. You're right. I think it's protecting. Yeah, protecting is a good guess. Nice work. It was protecting. Good job. Credit to Cody. And also, thank you for uh, the help to Punk Chef. Declaration Expedition. Uh oh. Let's go. Covering Declaration of Independence seems to be a loss. I definitely said a bunch of words. Um, that damn woman I hired, Sydney. Uh, she said she could do it. Haven't seen her in months. I bet she's dead or ran off with the advance I gave her. Tell me, don't give an advance. It's the last time I trust someone. Told Harkness to keep an eye out for her just in case she ever comes back to the city. That's what I get for sending a woman to do a man's job. Damn. Um, anyway, <laughs> Lincoln's Artifact es Expedition. I'm gonna find out through the grapevine that there was a bunch of Lincoln artifacts still at the Museum of History. Ooh, I know one of them. There's a gun there. That's, uh, like, a mainstay in this series, or uh, in this game, people, like, use that gun the whole run. It's like Lincoln's Repeater or something. I think I may branch out from just collecting documents if I could get my hands on those gems. My problem is, I have to find someone braver than me who can get to the museum in one piece. One piece is real! Liberty Bell Expedition. Oh. Bumped into a traveler a little while ago who showed me what he said was a fragment of the actual Liberty Bell. Poppycock! The Liberty Bell is still intact and lying in the ruins of Philly. I just funded an expedition to that dump in hopes of having the entire bell brought back to my museum. Wow. All that all that thinking just for those entries. Just for the lore. Maybe we're almost done looking at terminals. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun when when we start playing the game? 
Oh, bottle cap mine. Oh, it's free. Here. He <laughs> was looking right at me, too. <laughs> Good to see your back too. Oh, hell yeah. No, no science for me. No siree. Sure. Oh, it's the it's the fart room. We found it. evening yourself uh what day is it oh damn it today was the day <laughs> shit i have to fucking sit here and advance it seven whole days so i want to see his his, his speech <clears throat> damn it <laughs> well whatever hopefully we'll think about it some other time try it then Donation box, easy. All right. It's like taking candy from a church. <laughs> Some medics behind the pulpit. Okay. Is he actually going to go in there? He is. Hey, oh. I was going to unlock that. Whoa. I have sexy sleepwear in here, father. <laughs> I'll be back for you someday. If, he, if I close this, will he lock it? Damn it. I want all the experience. Yes! Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Two plungers now. Nah. Oh, it's a terminal I can hack without worry. Seagraves, incriminating letter. Ooh. Oh, no. But also, terminal. Oh! Okay, rubbing my hands together. Who's ready for another one? But it's slightly easier, because it's uh, not a hard one. Recognize, no. I think the ING ones are fun to... Get out of the way, because you can know if it's those three letters. Yep, three letters. Belonging. Awakening. Beginning. Returning. Okay, so returning. It's not returning. Don't think it is. Well, no, it was a one letter, both size I and G. No. Beginning, it could be beginning. Yeah, that's not beginning. No, it's not beginning because it's B E G, so it can't be the can't be beginning. Uh, awakening. Yeah, it's probably awakening. No, it isn't. Fuck. I was wrong about it though, but that at least. Uh. I know it's it's very easy to fall for that pitfall. I guess it's returning. Right. There we go. Nice. It's a fun little mini game once you like get into it. Once you get into the headspace of it. Survival weapon idea. Oh, kind of idea for a survival weapon. There are these railroad spikes. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, it's his house, I guess. Lying around the wasteland, I ought to be able to build some sort of sh sling shot that fires them like bullets. Tried some really big rubber bands, but that didn't work. Wonder if there could be a power source. Baron. Dr. Lee, we both know that Baron 
Bannon, sorry, uh, does not have the best interests of Rivet City at heart. He is only interested in making a profit. He would sell his own children if if he had any for an extra bottle cap. He needs to be removed. I would be glad to step forward as his replacement. Sincerely, Seagrave Holmes. Right, I remember this stuff. That Seagra Seagrave, I think, is the like this merchant that's across the sta the way from him in the Rivet City like courtyard marketplace. And he was saying he wants to be on the council because uh, Baron Bannon doesn't have the best interest at heart. Seagrave, I do not wish to get pulled down into petty political uh, bickering. Bannon has not done anything wrong. If the time has uh, ever comes when he does something truly harmful to Rivet City, other council members will look in into it. Until then, I have a lab to run. Yours, uh, Doc Mason Lee. I got it, so that was her replying to him. Alright, alright. Oh. Hanger. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my house. To my mouse. To my squeaky little mouse. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Uh, actually, stay there for a minute. Some buff out? Maybe a little psycho. <laughs> I do actually want to take your. Oh, okay, you went through there. Yes, go to bed. Or stand against the wall or something. Up. Oh, <laughs> she's like, she's like waiting for his wife. What? Whatever. Yeah, Belle's gonna have to replace some tables and chairs. I'm sure she'll just scrap some from the lower deck. Oh shit! Clipping too. Fuck! Oh, that's danger. <laughs> I'm sure she'll just scrap some from the lower deck. Not here. I'm not here. <laughs> he just burped. I'm hidden. Best game ever. Yes. Yes. He doesn't seem to be doing all right. Okay, now it's that time to raid the bed. God damn, this guy can't make up his mind. door just closes on its own. Fuck it. Don't care. I took enough cams. Goodbye. You've had your fun. Why are all these, like, doors unlocked? Why can't I pick this up? <laughs> I'm not well rested right now. It's fine. I'm not missing out too much XP. Oh my god, this one's locked too. Oh, that's fine. I don't need this. Um, <laughs> that door was open and someone walked by and they still didn't detect me. Oh, sugar bombs. Those are good. Okay, saving. Good to see you. You too. Even though I didn't see who that was.
<laughs> right, let's see. I don't think I can fast travel when I'm falling. No, I can't. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Hey yourself. Well, I think we did a lot today. <laughs> that we really got down to the heart of the issue that we were trying to solve. The mystery was solved thanks to us. And no one everyone, no one was none the wiser. Uh you I like how this one's turned backwards. It's like the only armor in the game where you see <laughs> just looking at the guy's ass for some reason. That's not true. I think that's the same with all the vault stuff. Because you're looking at the person's like 101 icon in his back. But still. So this one, it looks like it's covered up. So it's just, it just looks like you're looking at someone who's turned around for no reason. See, I, I found a way to justify it. So I'm still right. Hope you're proud of me. <laughs> Proud of my hypocrisy. Hippopocrisy. How cute. <laughs> Hippopocrisy. They should make a political party. That's their icon as the hippo. So everyone could say, haha, hip hippo hypocrites. <laughs> Make a political party where the icon is a, a donkey and they can call them asses. Only if. Only if. I'm gonna keep this as my Myrler locker. Join the party for the lols. Thanks, Jackie. I knew I could count on you for the lols. So many stealth boys. Such a sneaky boy. Oh yeah. Been wanting to unload that for a while now. You know what I'm saying? Sure, man, explain to me about my first laboratory, please. From the keen minds at MedTech, the My First Laboratory will instantly detoxify you, removing any nasty addictions from your body. Knowing what you're addicted to, it might blow out the program altogether. If you're feeling the need oh my to God. experiment, just set the lab to brew, and a day later it Sassy will produce British a robot. random, useful compound. Remember that while the lab is brewing, you can't... Oh. Can you give me a sick fade? Now give, tell me a joke. Yes, it's common knowledge that irradiated cats have Aww. 18 half lives. Because they normally got nine lives. Tell me a joke. My humor emitter array requires <laughs> recharge. Amazing. <laughs> Him saying that itself was a, kind of a joke. I'm a paladin. That's canonically my class. Right now. Oh god. I actually go here. Oh, I still have to wait. Make me less rad. Thank you. There's so many bobbleheads I still want need to collect in this game. Want and need, I guess. Uh No, I'm st I'm still doing that mission. Oh, actually. <clears throat> um, ac actually. Fuck. 
Actually, uh, there. Okay. <clears throat> I was actually going to go back to Megaton and then go sleep again just so I can make sure my, my boost is going to be fully upped. But no, I want to, uh, got my cursor missing. I have to go back to the Robco facility to have some fun. This will be neat. Let's test out our new abilities. I was telling you about this, that you can hide and... Yep. Oh, it doesn't give you experience for deactivating them. Lame. I thought, okay, in, in Fall New Vegas, they always give you experience for deactivating them. This whole time I've been gaslighting. Oh shit. Did not mean to save over that, but that's fine. Boo. Oh. The thing just fell over. <laughs> just went back up. Along, yeah, boo. Oh god. To be fair, I can... Hmm. What the hell's going on? Okay, it looks- it sounds like it's fixed right now. Just checking if it was like clipping into the ground again or something. Nope. It still is. <laughs> oh god, this poor guy. No! <laughs> Please, stop! Stop it! No! No! <laughs> Why is this happening to him? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm such a cruel god, <laughs> letting this happen. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> That's magical. Is this happening? It's happening all over. I need to, like, get out of the render zone or something. The moment I look away from them... <laughs> it's literally quantum mechanics right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, like, looking away in real life, too. Oh no, his bits are out! It's so fucking funny. Here, if I go back here, maybe... Nope! I- I fucked this whole place up, irreparably. This is the fate we have to live with now. I, I'm so glad the quantum mechanics theory I had is working. Like, the moment I look away. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. That's wild. Okay, it fixed itself. Yep. It's done doing that. Wow. Okay. I want to, like, make this quick save immortal if I can. I want to keep that one forever. If it's... Uh, here. Let's go back. Let's see if that works again. Wow. I want to load that again. See what happens to him. <laughs> it's pressing F9 over. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. So if I go back to auto. Okay, we're still blessed with this. <laughs> Whoa. Move. Okay, so... Oh, 
I want him to be like in that room. My load back. Well, it makes it makes sense that he's not getting back up again. This is the save where I did deactivate him, I guess. Oh, him too. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're definitely making a save here. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm actually stuck. This game is amazing. <laughs> Don't worry, I can load. Things will be fine. Shit. Uh, load. Exactly where I want him. This is my favorite visual when I'm like here. <laughs> That one's my favorite. Make another save here. So hopefully, I load. Nope, wrong one. It reloads the quick saves. Oh no! Okay, these two save files are very important to me now. Oh, God, I need a second to breathe. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that was wild. Oh, that was so fun. Okay. Goodness. Okay, I think I'm going to try finishing the Wasteland Survival Guide. Um, this, this one mission we're on, this chapter. That's my main mission here. And then I'll uh, I'll probably switch to party animals and then call it a night. And then call it a night, as it were, same as it ever was. Oh, he's not there. Where's the uh? Let's, let's see, read that note, the incriminating one. You turned us down twice now, Holmes. This is the last appeal. Uh. We used to be friends. We used to do business together. All I want is to sell our product in Rivet City. Oh, what product? I'm sure the city would use huh, slaves to help with the rebuilding. Oh my god, Paradise City has slaves to sell at a good price. Oh my god. Used to sell uh, me wastelanders you captured before you got all full of yourself. You aren't as pure as you pretend. Help me and we can both make a nice profit eugene uh jones or eulogy jones wow take a look around you've been doing business with slavers and i have a letter to prove it damn uh how about we'll just talk about rivet city's history for oh, now i really wouldn't know i mean long as i can remember she's just been here soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. Hmm. But I never really cared about the politics. I can tell from what you deal with. Oh, learn more about River City history. Okay. Check other sources to confirm River City's history. I'll do that. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Sure. Last feller I remember from back then oh, was shit. Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago. After that spat with the science team. Looks like I have to go to the to other side. Shed in the broken off bow of the ship. <gasps> we always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. In her belly. Well, can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage. Especially where the Mirelurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. 
But the I Meyer lurks the lurk. And the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place ship shape. Uh. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands. <laughs> we're in her now. Oh. I'll talk to that bear, uh, Baron guy. I think that's his name. Yes. Brock. Don't tell me your problem. Okay, bye. Everything looks okay here. Thanks for the update. Okay, let's do this shit. I'm gonna hear all about this place. Time to hunt Mirelurk. Yeehaw! Okay, gotta hold our breath here. Oh, don't save while we're drowning. There. Oh god. Get up! Thank god. That was close. Anything worth scavenging down here? Not really. Thank goodness I can phase through the ventilation. There's probably something secret somewhere. Okay, I let those loose. There's bottles and cans. Files and cans and clap your hands. It's like a, a back lyric. Not that I'm complaining. Oh. There's a little, little puzzle here. Pretty sure you have to. Oh, never mind. Not much of a puzzle. Hello? Oh god, two hunters. Okay, I'm gonna die. No, no. Thank goodness. Dirt, dirty water. Oh god. Inside of you. Well. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a good try. Okay. F. Thank you for your F, Jackie. I needed that. Especially after that. Okay. Oh, that's not good. This sucks. Take me. Um. F5. Um. Okay, so this is how I was saying it was a little puzzle. Or if I open that, I should come back here to get air before going back through again. Maybe there was enough time. Yeah, there was. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I just solved a puzzle that wasn't there. No big deal. I'll just check that filing cabinet, but it's fine. Can't check all of them. Good job. Thank you. Good time to save. I'm glad you appreciated my puzzle. There's one. Yes.
guess I'll cheese it. Gladly. These guys suck. Okay, solved that problem. Oh, look, stim pack. <laughs> These sounds. Thanks, ragdolls. Love you. Never change. I know this place is somewhat booby trapped. I'm pretty sure it's mostly on the next floor above me. It's a very wet place we're in. I like all the wet sounds. The wetening. It's a new movie coming out. The wetening. Beware. Beware the wetening. Very moist. So hydrated in this room. Oh, hell yeah. Free, free uh, ship soda? Don't mind if I do. Definitely don't want to shoot my gun in here. I remember this place being super explosive. It being very easy to set this place off. Oh, there's a landmine right there. There we go. Oh, hell yeah, that's a good gun. Oh, and give me ammo for it too, nice. Yeah, it's usually really hard. Well, guess what? It's fine. I was, I was just gonna say, maybe I want to, like, redo the save so I can unlock that someday, but no, it's fine. Don't need every single bit of experience. Just most of it. Oh, boy. Maybe if I reactivate it, it'll make it locked again. That switch that I was... <clears throat> that I pulled to open that door earlier. We'll see. Hell yeah. Love it. That gives you a full combat shotgun. Use that to repair my other one. Nah. It's permanent. Oh! Oh, it's an easy lock now. Sure. No way. Is this a known glitch? No way. I haven't noticed if I'm getting the experience. I don't think I was. Let's try it one more time. Nah, don't get experience for it. Okay, they knew. They knew. Okay. Okay, that's the unlocked. Got it. Well, that's goofy. Don't recall if I got experience on the first time. I, uh, unlocked it. But, whatever. I was just mesmerized by the fact you could keep relocking and unlocking it. To even know if I was getting experience. Nice. Ooh, that's powerful. Ooh, that's powerful. Oh no, that's bad. Well. Whew. Alrighty then. That solved that problem, huh? I actually can't believe I outran the fire. It's so goofy. It's so silly. 
frankly. I'm sure, I tossed up everything in this room. Looks like it, at least. I know this weird thing that happens here. So yeah, this terminal isn't the one. Just the switch over here. Cool. <laughs> okay. Guess who it is? It's Pankerton. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> Old man. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you this are is the doing part where you die. an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Uh, can you tell me about history? Let's just, uh, let's, just, let's discuss the... Nah. I don't know if I want to do this quest right now. Can you tell me about this history, city's history? What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers no. up topside. Now get going. Looks like you have an interest in them. You're the only one who knows about the truth. Who knows the truth about Rivet City's founding. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around. All, all right. right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. <laughs> Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. He's been edged. But you can set the record straight. Ooh. Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck <laughs> about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Oh. Everything else just Useful. grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. <laughs> So you used to have an H in your name. So you used to be in charge. How did you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team <laughs> backbiters. showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and oh. my whole staff started working with her. That's my those papa. Traitors. He worked on that too. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Do you have any hard evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist <laughs> always keeps track. I need to be a good data. scientist. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them. I make a lot of copies of things. Place. Nice. Historical record. Hell yeah. We'll uncover the truth. Oh. Check the other sources and uncover the truth. I did both. Good. What are you doing here in the wrecked part of the ship? I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. Hmm. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. Nuh uh. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Aw. Just don't touch me. Can't anything. promise that. What kind of work do you do in here? The secret kind. Aw. Well, if you must know, <laughs> I'm an electrician and computer expert. You know, it's and a computer. I'm a bit of a surgeon. Whoa. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. Oh, I think you can do plastic surgery on me. I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. Lore dump. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Flunky. <laughs> Bluesy. Purity, indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. <laughs> What a bunch of maroons. Go for Don't now. let your guard. Dead. Same for you. Rivet City City Council minutes. Ooh. April 25th, 2020 39. You can't tell a raccoon not to touch nothing. That's true. It's not in our nature. Sorry, just uh, looking at my phone for a sec. Uh, 
uh, yeah, council meeting. I know you probably are all, all were so eager to read this. Um, uh, in inaugural meeting <laughs> of the Rivet City Council. In attendance, science rep Dr. Horace Tinkerton, Horace citizen rep Annette Holmes, uh, security rep Brad uh, Danvers. Ooh, summary. As the Rivet City, as the Rivet Station Science Outpost has displayed significant stability in its location and reliable profitability for supply traders, a a, a Berg, Bergian Bergeneering civilian. I don't know that word. Well, Berg Bergen, Giant Bert Burgeoning. Like dungeon, bur burgeon, <laughs> uh, burgeoning civilian settlement. I'm probably just like growing, has sprung up in the available space on our ship to better protect and organize the growing committee. Community, we declare a three-man council will act as the government governing body to represent the interests of the residents in of the newly dubbed Rivet City. Yes, that's it. Thanks. Jackie. Growing. Yeah. From context, I could tell that it meant growing. This raccoon, he can learn. This little fuzzy guy. Can't keep his hands to himself. Well documented. Now you can keep your wine and vodka. I, I know you're a scientist, you need that. Um, nice place you got your dock. <laughs> the fridge next to the TV. Bro was living the bachelor lifestyle. It's like an invisible wall here. It's like they didn't render like another one of these dividers here. Or and I can't access that either. Weird. A weird room for me to not be able to plunder. Land down under. Where women go and men plunder. You better run. You better take cover. You better run. Okay, got a nice book of science there. Got that lunchbox. Stealth boy and your sensors. Oh, and a book of Dean's electronics. Hell yeah. Another stealth boy. Okay, I'm gonna save. Two sensors. Nice. Robbing this helpful man dry. Yep, he couldn't, couldn't keep my hands to myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I spilled everything. But, and also, I guess I'm start sorry for stealing, but that too. I'm not that sorry. Teehee. Still a paladin. Nope, I'm not. Or, I mean, I guess I am, but my, my rating did go lower, actually. From all my stealing. He required. Okay. Hmm. Too much pelvic thrusting. That's the diagnosis. Hi. Stay sharp. Okay, so I guess I'll talk to him about this. Just I, I want to see what will happen with the mission. Let's discuss the facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for an android. For the android. What are you talking about, boy? This is I so much caramel. About any of that. Oh. Uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Was that? Also, how does he not see you, right? And what Pinkerton at Rivet City knows about the android. Good. Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what I want to know. Fine. Fine, whatever. <laughs> this android ah, fuck calls it. <laughs> himself Harkness now. Oh, Comes shit. And wants a memory job. Big lore drop. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Cool. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. 
I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? Hmm. I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need <laughs> to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. <laughs> but yeah, so the uh, the current one of the people on the city council right now is one of the androids. What? The security guy who greeted us when we went when we crossed the bridge to River City. I'm sorry you don't get along with Dr. Lee, but we were discussing the android. What you got to do with this? Show me this proof about the android. Yes, she's a bitch. <laughs> Can we talk about the android now? You're damn right she's a bitch. <laughs> Ruined my whole goddamn life. Is there so much but space there? I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. What are you talking about? I agreed it's with you. It's all in my computer. <laughs> Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. And these nudes. Straight from the synth man's lips. Damn. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. Uh-oh. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Hmm. I think I will tell him. You should be told. You want uh, you want to know if you... You'd want to know if you were an android. Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Sorry. Oh... Sorry, I couldn't. Resist. That's relatable. I'm, I, I suppose I'm like this right. man, but don't worry. Irresistible. I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. Oh, but you can get them back. All you need to oh, cool. do is use the recall code. Great. There's a just say to him sleeper code. Activate A three twenty one MK Ultra over here. Code Violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Wah, 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 wah. Activated code. Port to Zimmer or Harkness about. Or whatever. So why'd you help the android? Ha! <laughs> why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. <laughs> There's stuff in there I'd only heard about. And even then, I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. <laughs> Zimmer feller. What do you know about this android railroad? Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? No. Oh. But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so <laughs> I guess they're okay. Yeah. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. How yeah, about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, blasted. just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about huh. a place called the Institute. It's Fall 4! That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else I just know it's a thing in Fallout 4, but I've never played but through Fallout 4 all the way. Shame. That's for damn sure. Okay, you think you can perform facial reconstruction on me? And how? I am the only one in all of the wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform facial reconstruction, <laughs> you know. Look. The guts to do plastic surgery. All those other jerk offs, so I'll make you a deal. You want a little nip talk here? <laughs> there? I'll do it for you. I got you, I'll man. Get to hone my skill, and you'll get the best surgeon around. The likelihood of death by infection at my hands is only thirty-five mm, percent. <laughs> I'll take those side. odds. So, oh, done. A pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of curious. How? When was? Okay, I saved right then. Okay. So, I'm going to do something really quick. So, I got all that lore dump about the uh, android right now. I never really initiated a certain part of this quest, and I kind of want to do that first because... Um... I don't think it'll be possible to do it after I already got all that lore dump. So, I'm just gonna quickly start this part of the quest. I like quickly went into the science lab. Um, 
and got the bobblehead, but I never actually talked to Dr. Zimmer, which he was mentioning. And I think if I talk to him and then, like, lie to him or whatever, I can get a bunch of caps from him. So I need to start up that quest, or that part of the quest. Replicant man. Find out what Pinkerton knows, learn more about the android, continue to search for clues, or tell Zimmer he's dead. Let's just talk to Zimmer for a sec. I'm looking for troublemaker. Have you seen any? Uh, I can be a troublemaker. <laughs> I've known to make trouble. On the double. Okay. Yes. Okay, so they, they probably had a conversation that I missed out on. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? This voice no, actor is everywhere. A bit more weather. And so are all the voice actors in this are game. Are you by any chance for hire? <laughs> are you a man of the night? Depends. What exactly are we talked about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced... So many bastards are voiced by this voice actor in this property. game. Missing property. What kind of property? Oh no, he's talking about... Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. <laughs> Mr. Handies. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, I can give you more than in handies. the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do right, whatever Jackie, so we many need. repeated voices. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. It's exciting every time I rehear them, though, so... Android is dead. See? An internal component. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, that to me. I'm sure they don't wander off. Interesting. What's this got to do with me exactly? Okay, I'm just gonna bait him into talking to me about it. Or talking, you know, telling me what he's gonna give me. You need to give me a Mr. Handy. <laughs> ASAP. Uh, interesting. But what's this got to do with me exactly? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere. Amongst the stars. In the stars. wasteland. He must have done something drastic. Like this stone-faced guy. And a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. Wow, he knows exactly what's it up. It will be no easy task. He's probably heard the, he may not even the VHSs that have been going around. Holotapes. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just huh. come get me immediately. I'll handle it. To compensate for my services, right? Uh, will you be compensating me personally, sir? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. <laughs> sure, I'll look into finding your android. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. <laughs> He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Cool. That's probably the message I've got. Oh, self-determination. I've probably gotten both of those. Such your clues about Simmer's missing android. Uh, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood <laughs> and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. And to stimulate humans. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Wow. Relatable. Any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind snack. wipe. Don't find me. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. <laughs> Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. <laughs> leaky Preston. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more dialogue, and I can just, like, quickly go through the, um... Pinkerton dialogue later. So I'm gonna just like, you know, follow this path for a little bit. 
Uh, if this android wandered off, why would he ha want a new face in mind? Mind and face. Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. <laughs> Maybe he Say fell. it. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. <laughs> it's possible Jesus. my android sought to forget his previous life. Horrible. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. I'm shocked by so no by his the way he, he speaks. He may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes to so. I made him. I want him. <laughs> no. End of story. I wouldn't Android feel guilt. Come on, Simmer. What aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. <laughs> Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. Goddamn. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Blade Runner. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into <laughs> believing they have rights. Oh. And so... This particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, hmm. and wanted to forget those deeds. Damn. That really spells it out. Okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? Why are you coming on this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different. Special. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. Whoa. The others, like my escort Armitage oh. there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. Hmm. So you see, this has very little parts. must be located at all costs. He's so bad, Jackie. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is oh God. irreplaceable. <laughs> Sorry, hit the mic. This guy sucks. Nuts. My god, there's so many things. <laughs> Still. Someone got their hands on a... Uh. Microdermal graftulizer. And a lolliplast... Uh, lil... Lipoplastis... Plasticator. Okay. I'm gonna back out for now. I'm going to make another save. Okay, just go over there. I literally thought that word, that first word, was gonna be lollipop. The sooner you find my pro. This one. Really? Someone managed to procure those here in the wasteland. Impressive. But who out here could have the skill to use them? Hmm. hmm. You're making progress, certainly. But you've got nothing more to learn from me. Get back out there. You're a go-getter. Get back out there, JK. Standing around all day. Dragna leads on a circuit neural neuralizer. A circuit neuralizer? Here in the wasteland? How'd they manage to get their grubby hands on one of those? Impressive. You are showing signs of intelligence <laughs> and resourcefulness. You might turn out useful after all, but you're wasting. Okay. What? What? Still have the option to lie. Good. My stars in my eyes. So tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Sounds wonderful. Inside the quagmire. secret environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to undeveloped comprehend mind. what we've Jesus. accomplished. This guy sucks. Balls. What do you know about the history behind Rivet? Gosh, diggity dang city. Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. <laughs> okay, I think that's, uh, we finally got to the end of his dialogue, so. Let's talk to that other doctor, because that's like a fun little, uh, dialogue tree we normally wouldn't be able to hear. Hi, Armitage. That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. 
Hey. I think Anne Holt or what do you want? this lady. One of these two knows about my father. Maybe all of them do. I'm just not gonna. Why do all my late? Why do all these scientist ladies know about know my dad so well? I pick her lock again. Nah, doesn't give me experience. Just gives me no karma or bad karma. Hey, hi. You're wounded. Let me bandage. Your doctor, right now. Yeah, okay, so info on the robot. That was all. All elaborate hoax. What? Okay, so no, he knows nothing about the android. Unless. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Can you now? Sorry for dropping your bone saw. Oh. Not bad. Come on. Wow, he can't see me. <laughs> of course he can't. Let me just, excuse me, uh, let me just reach around here. <laughs> uh, ing something. No, it's probably not ending with e ing this time. Okay, that was kind of dumb. I should have like looked closer what words are here, because only one word pretty much ends with ing. Skeptical, convicted. The O could be in the right place. Completes. No, but then the O and the M and something would be in the right place, so... It's not it. O... I think it's- I think it's lockpicks, actually. Right. Yep, it's lockpicks. How does he not notice you using the computer? Yeah, while reaching around him. Ghost style. <laughs> Regional health hazards. Third city, unauthorized use will result in a fine, confinement, or possible banishment by orders of the city council. Gulp. Apart from standard dangers, Rivet City provides a few uncommon problems for long-term residents. Lockjaw, muscle spasms, especially of the jaw, from getting cuts on the rusty ship hull. I've heard, yeah, that's what you can get that from rusty nails. Treat with penicillin when available. Really, that's how you can help that? Uh, lung, red lung, Jesus. Respiratory problems from regularly inhaling dust particles, particularly a problem for hangar deck residents and shut-ins. Treat with steam therapy and time outside to flush system. Sounds good. Fish poisoning. No. Lots of a problem nowadays, but occasionally some find someone finds a fish in the river and is dumb enough to try to eat it. The thing. Radiation levels spike and mercury poisoning. Oh god. Drives most victims crazy. No cure, but at least people nearby get a reminder not to do it. That's awful. Patient files. Bannon still suffers from his social problem. Keeps on penicillin. Try to convince him to watch out in the future. What? <laughs> to, to fix social problems, keep him on penicillin. Don't normally get a tetanus shot. True. Another. Yeah, right. I, I think he, this guy doesn't know much about doctoring. Another day, another broken nose. Rare to see him. Oh, Brock. Rare to see him as a patient, but at least the people he refers are still alive barely jesus uh can tell e, Polly, treatment for the steady stream of his addictions would be a steady income but i can't waste the resources on him if he just if he's just going to get hooked again damn Holm seagrave chronic case of red lung from all the repairs below deck prescribe a few hours of fresh air up top every night oh I wonder if he goes up at night. That'd be cool. Stanley Gray. Exhaustion. The man really needs to take a rest at some point, but then again, who doesn't? <laughs> this, this guy sucks. This guy has no doctoring. Uh, 
Trini. Surprisingly healthy, apart from the alcoholism and the other chronic dangers from her line of work. Guess they grow them strong in lamplight. Whoa. That doesn't sound... That sounded weird of him to say. Don't mind me. Can't pickpocket right now. That's fine. Or I can't... Oh. Alrighty. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. Definitely won't touch your stuff either. You don't look so tough. You look so tough. Oh, they hi, call sister. Me sister. Don't ask. Don't ask. If you're a man, why do they call you sister? Sigh. Are you making fun of my name? It's a damn good I thing. I like his haircut. <laughs> this place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Kick your ass. You're bothering me. Or anything about the history of Rivet City? Do I look like someone who cares? Wow. This guy oh, sucks. Hey there. Welcome back, sir. Hi, Vera. Oh, gossipy bitch, tell me. So, are there any fun rumors flying around Rivet City? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. <gasps> oh, no way. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. Oh, shit. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Time for you to go to bed. All right. Thanks for hanging out, Jackie. You've been lots of fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Sleep tight, bingo. So what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. The kid back there just staring. What's the deal with the little punk James Hargrave? Poor James. His mother drinks too much. Good night. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Oh. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her. Which is ridiculous. Redonkulous. What's it like living on a grand ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. <laughs> but Same. we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. Quite smelly. Maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Hope there's a cure for smelly someday. What do you have to eat? Take a look at Give me the Oh, that's way too expensive. I was thinking there might be sugar bombs. No history. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. <laughs> but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. Rip. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Well, is there anyone who knows more? I wonder who. Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. You have so much dialogue for all these. since he was just a boy. And I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Oh, yeah, I, I did talk to him. So long, Vera. Hey. Checking hey. up on me or something? Yeah. So how are you getting along now that you left Grey Ditch behind? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. Aww. It's so cool that you brought me here. Woo! I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that. But she really cares about me. Aw. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. Yeah, there's a bunch of other kids he can hang with. Goodbye. Goodbye, mister. That's, that reminds me of... Uh... Oh, I must have dropped something. That really reminds me of uh, Shenmue. This one NPC kid says <laughs> just keeps calling the guy mister. See you later, mister. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Hello. Very easy. Not bad. Let's do it. Ooh, ooh. Hog. I'm sure there's a few books on me that I haven't. Oh. No, yeah, I, I just got them from the other science lab. From, uh, Egerton's lab. I love lockpicking. And terminals. Gosh, my my charisma is, or my karma is so low right now. I need to like donate a bunch of money to the church, to both churches. I need to go on a mission to give water to everyone. It was so noisy last night. I can hardly sleep. Fun little conversations going on. Can't get in there. Definitely can get in there. 
Let's say sister's hotel door. Yeah. Am I well rested just wear off? It just did. Cool. Welcome. Take a look around. Talk to Baron. Bandon. I keep saying Baron. Damn it. Baron isn't even a name, is it? Welcome to Potomac Attire. Potomac Attire. Yes, you've seen. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to... I'm gonna give it to him, I think. Let's look, ask me about... I want to ask him about the history a little, though. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Hmm. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Oh, he's in here, in here for a while. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Damn. Hasn't Rivet City been around longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. <laughs> That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle cool. Bonnie. I will talk to her. I think I will give him the letter, just to... I think that's who I should side with, because considering what he's dealing, what he's doing. Nice to see you again. City well, history? I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started? But I've Fair heard enough. Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. Yep, cool. I'll put on my... I think I want to do some business with her, get more chems. I'm almost at, like... A rest of the game supply. Yeah, 16 of those. 17 of those. Nice. Made your mind up yet? Sell some junk too while I'm at it. Actually balances it out perfectly. Some junk while I'm here, too. <laughs> I'll hoard them for a bit for some reason. No. Give me that back. Thank you. Take all the trash. Trash man. Skibbidibbidi yum da da da. I'm the trash man. Let's take the cans. Doing the can can over here. Cool. Another satis satisfied customer. Up. Uh, Let me or a security officer know see, if you see anything out of your. Don't grave went. I think it was up there. There he is. He's coming down. Take a look around. Like to see what he got for sale. Ooh, hell yeah. Combat armor is a little too rich for my blood right now. It really shouldn't be though, considering how much money I have. So how much was it? Um. Nah, I'll, I'll buy it another one later on. When I'm more uh, another satisfied lower on durability. Yeah. Look good. Another helmet for the they thumbnails. Shrapnel. I haven't talked I to him yet. Place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. I talked to his boyfriend. Damn, I love guns. Nothing better than a kick of a third forty-four. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. They are.
Ask you about Rivet City's history. Maybe I have talked to Shrapnel, actually. History? Fuck if I <laughs> hell. Fuck if I care. This guy's great. Uh, sure. Sure. Buy some ordinance. Fat man. Pricey ass armor. He's got power armor. Or how he came across that stuff. Nah, nothing he's got that I want. You know what I meant. Can I raid this, maybe? Can. Hell yeah. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I... It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Oh, it was... So what's the story with... Oh, no, it isn't. I guess I was just asking what the name of the place was. Why is James Hargrave such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. <laughs> she treats him like crap. Damn. I think it's because she drinks too much. Makes sense. Not a good reason, though. Yeah, what do you have? Here's a menu. Do men on the ship give you much trouble? Sure. You mean like hitting on me? No. Most no. of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Oh, right. The drama. So you and Diego are in love. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Fortunately, you can't force a man's attraction. Your woman just seduce him. Sure, first one. Why not? Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Yeah, that's respectful. Well, the first I'm one. I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Aw. How cute. History. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Okay. Thank See ya. Forgot what's over here. It's to the flight deck, huh? Oh. Well done. Nice. Oh. I dropped a bottle or something. Yes. Yes. Don't you have a comp Victoria. Was there something else? Oh yeah, right. If I help you, is there some kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Hmm. Is there any better compensation? No better compensation. Do it for God. Only good things have been done for in the name of God. Don't mind Terrible. Me. I'm just taking things one day I'd at a time. I'd rather be alone just now. Ted Strayer. Oh. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Dude. <laughs> okay, little dude. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. All right. You and me just hanging. Just hanging it all out. Let's talk about history. Dude, I only just got here myself. <laughs> Ain't nothing I could tell you. Dude. Later, Ted. Later. Whoa. What's the <laughs> rush, dude? Whoa. That's secure for a reason. Saint May Saint Monica bless you. Oh shit. Not gonna say that. Uh donation. We humbly Let's do it. Hundred caps. Generous offer. God bless you. Yep. That's how my karma is. Yes. Okay, just just alright. I know there's a lot more I can do. Tell my karma. Something I want to get into is oh wait is this oh they're in there. Can I, I want to steal this stuff. Can I do it with? I'm asleep. I can. Detective 
attacked by who? Hell yeah. Placed them. They'll be none the wiser. Oh. Broken terminal. Noodle and stew and squirrel, oh my. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, we got lucky. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Oh god. Yeah, that was bad. Not good. Sure. I heard, I heard, I heard a mouse. I did. Uh, sure. They say the exact same thing. That's fantastic. <laughs> They're just fugue stating each other. Stating this fugue, fuguing each other. Once you're gone, you won't be around to miss anything. That's one way of putting it. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. Wow. The guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. Thank goodness I'm role playing as a raccoon, or else there'd be no way to justify all the stealing. Me too. Yeah, I've been in here before. Yep. Okay, I thought there was maybe a, a lunchbox I could steal. I mean, take. God bless you. Oh hi, I'm Diego, the acolyte for Saint Monica's. Who's the Saint Monica? Saint Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. Whoa! Wish she I could do that. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about Saint Monica. <laughs> all right. God, I missed this game. Hello, Nelson. Yeah, I love this game so much. It's been real fun playing it. It's like my sixth, sixth, sixth stream of streaming it. I don't know why I couldn't say six, sixth. I, don't, I never noticed I've had a hard time saying sixth. Interesting. Um, <laughs> there's a church in this, on this rust bucket. Oh yes. Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Clifford? Like the big red dog? Aw. Came from Twitter, stayed for the bottle caps. Thank you. Glad to hear people are noticing my links on Twitter. Uh. So you're some sort of acolyte? Who's, who's the priest? Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's four on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. I still need to go to that. Oh, I could spill the beans. I'll, I probably will spill the beans with him in a sec. Could I ask you about Rivet City's history? I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. Hmm. But I don't really know for sure. God came by and manifested destiny. God. Good to see you. Good to see you. God bless you. And okay, let's spill the beans. Let's see what it's like. All right, Angela. Staley has a crush on you. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. <laughs> well, you can tell you're in I cloth. will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. <laughs> I have to go and start my bedtime routine. Aw, I thought I'd give you a quick follow. Seems like it's going well. I can't wait to watch more. Thank you so much, Nelson. Hope to see you around soon. But yeah, that's really sweet to hear. Thanks. Have a good night. Uh. <laughs> Don't stop seeing her. I'll tell Father Clifford about it. <laughs> what? Knight, you're a fool to pass up a chance at love with Angela. That's what I think, Diego. Father Clifford says she is my trial. My, my temptation. temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. Damn. Let's try a different dialogue tree. If you don't stop seeing her, I'll tell Father Clifford about it. Let's try that to see what happens. I swear to you, 
Our relationship is chaste. I am only her friend. Chaste. However, I must confess, I have not done all I could. Oh. I am sorely tempted. You have given me new resolve. I will tell Angela we no. cannot see each other again, even as friends. No. Fuck. I mean, like, it's, it's really his choice, I guess, but... It, I don't know, I feel like that's not the canon I want. God bless you, and keep you safe. Okay. Wait, let's God try this. God bless you, and keep you safe. Yeah, I want to see just the third option, I guess. Okay, I believe it. I was just curious about it. I forgive you. More importantly... God forgives you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you can tell me for him. May Saint Monica bless you. <laughs> He's right there this whole time. I could lie and just ruin the whole thing. <laughs> what a great bathroom with the <laughs> liquor bottles everywhere. Nice communal place. Okay. Didn't really explore this place that much. One, Trini. You're too goddamn drunk. You're too drunk. I can't take any of the good stuff. Hey, stranger. Hey there. Sure. After I'm done lockpicking, I'm done screwing this driver. Oh, hello. Just screwing this driver. Screwdriver. By the way, ah, uh, I can keep the gun. Ooh, stash. Nice. I love me some drugs. Oh, it's bottle caps. Whatever. Free medics. Not even stealing it. Not worth it. Not worth it. It's like not worth it if I'm gonna be detected. Nice. They know sugar bombs are important. So they're hiding them from me. They're magically delicious. You know they're hiding it from me. Hey, Brock. Whoa. I said goodies on him. <laughs> Can I, like... Will this make me sneakier? Like, sneakier to the point of getting close enough for this? Doesn't look like it. So I'll have to come back at a different time. If I really want to unlock that. It's not that important that I unlock it. Just experience. Okay, I have at least two NPCs to talk to here. Fun. What are you looking at? Yo mama. Joe mama. Hey. Nice little set of dominoes here. Let me just, uh... What's the big idea? <laughs> wow. It'll always stay like that forever. I love Bethesda games. Anyway. What the hell do you want? Um, you're a bar? I, a drink, maybe? I'm looking for someone named Pinkerton. Ran any bells? What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? <laughs> Right before he disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Nice. Any good stories lately? I, I want to hear the gossip. Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. Okay, I don't I have. talk bad about folks. A yeah, bartender. D okay. Is Polly really addicted to chems? Oh yeah, he's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. God damn. How many stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Damn. I don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. Ooh. Met someone like you hears a lot of stories. Care can't you share one? Oh, I want to get better speech. Well, I might redo this if I fail it, actually. Just I want to get a good chance at it. 
No, I can't fucking hey, well share one. What sort of moron are you? How's that a success? But fine. Oh, okay. Get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Probably. Get the hell out of my bar. Damn. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Have a what drink. JK. Just want to see what you had. Oh. Later. Now you. Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? What's going on with the lighting? Sure, here's five caps. Go ahead and pick your poison. Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. Plus, a bo drinking a bottle gets you an extra cap back for free. Uh, could I ask you about Rivet City's history? Can't help you with the history, honey. Okay, have to go. Your lot. Buy a girl a drink, sailor. Just keep doing it. Tight. No, wait. Tight I didn't mean that. Please, mister, just one drink. I gave you a drink. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. You can keep the pool cue. Feeling generous. Okay, well. That's like most of those threads tied up now. Except, uh, deciding to turn criminal. someone in. Hi, Harkness. Is there a problem? Harkness. Do you know anything about Rivet City's hitter? I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I'm not going to correct myself this time. I've got to worry about time. what's happening on it now. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Directly. <laughs> One second later, correct self. Nope, nope, nope. Skip a doop. Up. Get back here. Who was that? Hey, who are you? It's you again. Got any psycho? I could really. I've never really talked to him. I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Poor Polly. I just take them from your shop. You should take the stuff. You shouldn't take the stuff. It'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Bad. I'm trying to find out about the city's history. Can you help? Huh? History? What history? There's no history here, man. Poor guy. Gotta run, Polly. Yeah. Pretty sure you can give him cams and it will kill him. Or something like that. Yes. Hello. Um. I'm gonna quickly look up Bannon. I wanna see his mission, what happens if I turn in the other guy. Fallout tree. Let's see. Quests, council seat. Porting him to give the player a discount. Oh, they'll give him give us the death claw gauntlet. Okay. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Oh, when I get to the store, Cindy will kill me if I'm late again. Okay, so you're tired, Cindy. I'll close up tonight. You go home and get to bed. Yeah, right. As soon as I'm gone, you'll use all the inventory, Polly. How about I just close up to you? <laughs> One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, we'll all end up like her. Hey. It is possible, however, to only loosely supported Oh, it is possible, however, it is loosely hey supported there. that Seagrave at one point was supporting supported area? a reward for the player no, well, I haven't seen anything. copy of the railway rifle schematic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it does, right. Okay, it, it, the thing that <laughs> it was implying that so, okay. Here's the deal. 
if I support, if I give Bannon the info about uh, Seagrave, then he gives me the schematics for a, a weapon, the Deathclaw Gauntlet, and he uh, gives me a discount at Potomac Attire, but then Seagrave gives me a 10% increase on prices there because he's, like, mad at me. Um, but then, if I went with Seagrave, it's theorized that he used to give the uh, schematics for the... Uh, the railway, what? Oh my God! Tongue twister. The railway rifle. He, uh, because he had that terminal that we read earlier about him thinking about us, you know, making a gun that could okay, shoot the railroad sure. spikes. If you see sure anything suspicious, this guy here. Sure but um. But <laughs> it's probably a bad idea because it was like you know supporting him just supports the whole horrible thing. So they probably switched it up. So now that other guy gives the rail. Railway, railway rifle. The market is closing soon. You better make. Is it now? I found this letter on Seagrave's room. In Seagrave's room, it's from some slavers. Really? I, I mean, I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Tell Danvers about that letter right away. That will squash any hope he has of replacing me on the council. Don't tell her I asked you to find it, though. That would backfire in a nasty way. Hmm. I heard Ange. Oh wow, I'm gossiping. Has a crush on Diego. Disgusting, isn't it? Oh no. Someone should talk to that boy. He has no business hanging around that tramp <laughs> if he's going to be a pre. Horrible. Okay. Oh, there he is. Maybe you don't there know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. Just looking for a security person. Yeah. Whoa, I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Spill it. Spill the beans. Tracking down a guy named Pinkerton, the only thing where, uh, where I can find him. Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. I'm enjoying learning about all these NPCs. Me, it's been fun. Baron is trying to blackmail Seagraves, but Holmes. Found this letter in Seagraves' room, but you should see it. This is bad. Seagrave Holmes was angling for a seat on the council. He can forget about that now. Yep. Once the market vendors get wind of his past, they'll never trust him. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. You've been helpful. So? I heard that Danvers found a letter from slavers in Seagrave's room. That will teach that bastard to mess with me. I think you've earned a permanent discount here. Pog. Oh, Andy gives me the schematic just like that. Dope. Actually, have you found anything you like? Let's talk to him again. Let's see what he has to for sale. Anything good? Nope, just leather armor, motorcycle helmets, which I like, but they get shredded through way too quickly. I want to talk to her some more, but I also want to hear his reaction. You'd better get out of here. The guards are going to close up. Oh, he doesn't even. Can I? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Don't mind me. Okay, all the people are here. Suspicious. Be sure to tell I like, security officer. I like talking to him around. about it. I got Doing business with slavers, and I have the letter to prove it. If you had read that letter, you'd know I'm no slaver. And you know I'm not dealing with them. Really? But if that letter gets out, they won't trust me. I'll never get a seat on the council, and Bannon will make me pay for trying to replace him. If you care about Rivet City half as much as I do, tell Danvers that Bannon is blackmailing me. But don't show her the le- Oh, okay. So I can just decide not to- Okay, well, fuck it. No, I'll just Hello. do this. If you see anything- Have you found anything you like? Okay. Being suspicious. Be sure to- Maybe you don't know who you're... Okay. I heard that Dan... Pog. Let's go back this to talking to her. Be good. Talking down. Okay. I'd like to report someone. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Damn. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. Okay. Heard that Rivet City was ran by some sort of cancel. 
Chief I Harkness know meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Hmm. No bias there. Tell me about Dr. Lee. What can you tell me about them? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist Egg. types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Ooh, the stern end. Not bad. Uh, we can dig it. Can I get a drink around here? Preferably somewhere clean. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. <laughs> Slightly less rust up there. What's up with James Hargrave's kid? That James Hargrave kid. Fuck. That James Hargrave kid. Uh, he acts like such a brat. He's trouble. That's what he is. I don't trust I thought that him. was all she was going to say. Should you. It's basically... His mother's a drunk. Spends all her time in the muddy rubber. Damn. Everyone knows. Can you tell me about the history? Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? Hmm. What? Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about- Okay. See? I'd rather be alone just now. You sneak into my room, steal my property, and then tell oh. the world about it. I'd ban you from my shop if they'd let me. Instead- Okay, fair enough. After- after what you've done? Yeah, it's all boosted a little bit. There's nothing really I wanted anyway. Stuff sucks. See you later. Yeah, I got that schematic, though. Nice. Hey there. Hey there, partner. Hey there, big spender. Gonna just, you know, do some of this here a little quicker. I'm gonna just talk through uh, stuff with with uh, Pinkerton. And after that, I'm gonna turn in the stuff for Moira and then come back for this mission, like, next stream. Next time I play Fallout 3. me just doing that thing I do I'm gonna find you where are you there he is stay sharp I'm just choosing the dialogue options I did last time. Hmm. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Yep, finally done with that. There's more to learn. Oh, I guess I can read the notes. I don't know. Picture before <laughs> and after. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony oh, yeah. of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with it's being someone's property. Reason. I am Don't not malfunctioning. Just gave me the password. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, it's it his all. I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. God damn. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away <laughs> and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Scaredy cat. I mean, I am too. I, I would be, of course. 
Oh my gosh, city founders log. Yeah, I think I already got this, read this. Android log one. Download, complete. Ha, I've done it. I've built a circuit n uh, neutralizer from spare parts using the diagram rescued from the vault last year. I'm brilliant. I'll show those hacks from the Commonwealth now. Android 2. I stole the mem chip from that jerk, uh, Braun. Where does he get off robbing people of their souls like that? Anyway, he's so involved in that simulation of his. Oh yeah, I know what he's talking about. That breaking in and taking it was like stealing from a little girl, but uh, very apt. Of course, I won't know whose memories there are, are they? are on this thing until I integrate it into my new host. Into its new host. But they never specified, so it shouldn't really matter. I can't wait until the subject arrives. It's keeping logs, yep. Got those memories into the rote android like uh, I was God sending down messages from heaven. Damn. Call him. Calls himself Harkness now. Thinks he's an old combat veteran. Did a little extra tinkering with his reflex system. He's certainly not someone I'd want to meet in a fight. When he woke up, he was all confused. We told him he was in a coma for a long time. Between the new memories and the new face I gave him, there isn't anyone in the w anyone that would recognize him. Not even himself. Picture. Yep. Copies. Cool. Pinkerton, Miz, and Therapy. Smacks for a Deathclaw Gauntlet. Wonder Glue. That's what I need Wonder Glue for. Leather Belt, Medical Brace, Deathclaw Hand. With this weapon, your unarmed attacks will have a uh, ferocity and armor shredding power of the Deathclaws. Assuming you can survive long enough to take one of their hands. Of course, of course. This android, Zimmer, was currently at Perfect City, is searching for an android, he believes. Android may have gotten facial reconstruction surgery and memory wipe. Self-determination is not a malfunction. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know Damn. you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. God damn. Is there really more I can learn about the android? Curious to just see where this quest goes. Up. Uh, now it's a little quicker to go here. I was just learn more about the android. After this, I'll go turn into Moira and then call it a night for Fallout. Then we're gonna play a little party animals to wind down. They're all eating dinner at hmm. A lot of NPCs in that one hallway. Want to do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho. Okay, so I know where this one is going. That's going to Zimmerman. Where's the other one going? To Harkness, hey. probably. Sorry that the that you have to watch me hover around through. Yeah, that's what the two options are. It's not the uh, learn more one. <laughs> Great game. Oh, uh, it is a great game. I love all these options for silliness. Co console commands. Makes the more annoying parts of the game a lot less annoying. Being able to just hover through walls. 
cover. Odd word for that. Wow. Got half a level from just lock picking and uh and looking at computers. Having a fun time doing those puzzles. Nice. You. Wonder what I got. Just waking up in the morning to talk to Moira. What a nice way to start the morning. Mentats. Let's put you away for now. With you, Metro. Take it. Metal. Scrap metal is fine, too. Okay. Oh, I have... Sure, I have stuff I want to put away here, too. And in the other place as well. I just left. Yeah. I want to take a sec to uh, to donate to the Church of Adam and then give some water, actually, too. Love that I keep the blood packs in here instead of in the fridge. Just get, I keep getting so many, I'm just going to put four in. So I don't have to put it as many in as, as often, because I was keeping, like, Six. Wait, how many was? I was I was keeping like four, uh, three of them instead of two of them, I think. Um. Yeah, it's all fine. And every eye shall be blue. <laughs> it is so. To donate. Hundred. Atom be Thank goodness I can offset all that stealing karma by giving it take for the rich and giving to the poor or taking from the poor and giving to the poor Yeah, I'm gonna give a bunch of water to this guy at the front gate Oh Gotta get up there Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna meet Nick. Yes, finally. I'm wanting to meet a caravanner. Welcome. Ah, I was welcome. We're thinking about traveler. that earlier in the stream, you too. Look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of These guys travel assistance. between some cities. Well, wander no more, my good friend. Doc Hoff. I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Jerk off. Now, how may I help you? Tell me about your trade caravan. I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to nice. discerning customers around the wasteland. Like discreet chemicals? I help ease the suffering of my fellow man. For a prize. I don't have a whole a office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. Oh. Nice map filling. What to buy? Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic Bag, How much we? I want? Pair? No, <laughs> not good at repair. One of these guys has like a hundred repair skill, like impossibly hey, high repair skill. Hey, I'm just careful. here to protect the merchandise. This guy. I may go back to Rivet City and give the other guy water too. How much? Uh, I split between them. Fourteen. Please, you saved my life. Just my friends, at least I can do to help. Water. You've helped me so much. Two. I'll never forget you. Three. Yep, Mari, very good. Great. Welcome to Megaton. 
I tried walking through the floor to check if I was still toggled. Well, now I know. Here. Oh. You've done. Thank you, medics. Nice. Love me some chems. I'm so min-maxing now. The way I've been playing. Let's put back all that water. Just in case I need to get my karma back up. <laughs> Just using water as a karma bartering. Or using water as karma bar bartering. Uh. Yeah. Okay, we're finally in the position to talk to Moira and then end the fallout part of the stream. Looking forward to going back to this game. It's been so much fun. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? No, I would never gaslight intentionally, only when it comes to Myra Lurks. And not with this option, just not intentionally. Well, okay, intentionally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> After a lot of researching, I got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Uh -huh. Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Uh uh. Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. <laughs> so close up to her. It's a weird cropping of the. Uh, the Bethesda dialogue, uh, NPC thing. Bethesda NPC view, you know. It's a little. a little off here. Uh, it began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Big. Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. All the mentats. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. Aww. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Holy shit. Hopefully. Not bad. T -t -t Tonight's stream has been hashtag not bad, if you ask me. The last part of, the ch of this chapter is about the library, right? Yes. Books are where the old world kept its knowledge. Wow. And libraries are where it kept the books. Hmm. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. Oh. See if it's still there. And if you can download records from its computer... Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. More about this dump. What do I get for going to the library? The obvious answer would be a book. Hmm. <laughs> but I guess there might not be any left there. So caps, how caps, about caps. I pay you with good old-fashioned caps? Caps. Who knows what you could buy with all those caps? It could be anything. It could even be a book. Wow. Good logic. Money can buy peanuts. <laughs> Money can be traded for goods and services. Okay, I'll check out my local library. Oh. Great. The library should be in Old Arlington, not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. Ooh. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Mm -hmm. Any little nice. piece of information could help the book, and thus, humanity. Humanity. Okay. What do you need? Last part of the survival guide, finally. We're there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Combat armor. Those prices. Ooh, recon armor. My first piece of it. Sure. I'll take that. Oh, my first piece of it. My first time encountering the actual armor itself. I think I want a workbench. That'd be nice. to have around. Keep me company. Nice. Got a lot of junk to sell. Next tab. Yep. Yep. All these stolen jets. Just gonna keep like four of the three of those. Three of those, uh, four of these. Nice. Pog, pog even. 
pog or two. Yerp. Really just will never need this many darts. The the gun that shoots darts only shoots one dart at a time, and it's like you only need one for like a while, so I'm sure I'll get like more. I have constantly been getting so many. Yep. So all that. Oh wait. No, I want that actually. I think I want those, but I don't need these as much. That's for the minigun. The one I just sold. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Good hunting. Nice. <laughs> sure. Cool. I have to go now. Try not to die. At me. Nice. Good, I was wearing the roving trader outfit to get a good discount. Increase my barter skill. Whoa. Very nice. Big upgrade and uh, damage resistance. Nah, wear this for a sec. Uh, I still am. Cool. Very cool. Oh, what? Actually, maybe I already repaired it. Yeah, probably. I was wondering where the second one of these were, but I probably repaired it already. Oops. Okay. Just gonna go back to my place. Do some of the last minute prep stuff, as you know, you know what I'm talking about. Nice, there's my workstation. Let's see what Wadsworth has to say. Water? Yes. Get five waters from him. Okay, and tell me about the workbench. If you come across any schematics in the schematics. wasteland, you'll be able to construct its contents on this specially designed table. Pog. Specially designed table. Oops. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm like this. Good morning, sir. Let's pretend I'm not here. It's all scrunched up in the corner. What are you doing over there, Wadsworth? You away. You're fine in there. Still want to keep that around for the explosives, but still, I don't think it's worth three. Uh, don't think it's worth three. Wait. Do I have another recon? Helmet. Why can't I find it? No, I don't. It's cool armor together. We'll show you show it off some other time. Five repair. How about five repair and five lockpick? Still don't think this is that useful. Yeah, that's all good. This is fun how all these are now like lower than the uh the actual armor I have. They're all closer together in one place. Damn, 22 of these. Be a nice way to heal. Put this away. I'm so tempted to actually go and... No, I won't. I'll keep the sensor, sensor modules for more bottle cap mines for now. I want to... Trade in the modules for, uh... More... Stims. Oh, 
I'll try to, uh, I'll try to set up my junk in an episode soon. All my toy cars and teddy bears and, uh, Nuka-Cola trucks. That'll be fun doing a decorating stream. It's the only thing we do the whole stream, just decorate. No, we'll do... That's just a part of it. Uh-huh. I think I might put the repellent stick away now. It's been fun, but I think we won't need it as often. Cool. Definitely don't need nine of these, if I'm being honest. Put away four of them. Yep. Yeah, we're all good. Hmm. I want to equip first. Hmm. I'll do you for now. Epic bro over here. Love playing this game. I don't want to finish, but I must. You must wind down with party animals. Second six hour stream. Heckin. Oh, no, it feels like it, but it's it's been a, it's only been four and a half hours, you know. It's current. I did this, you know, much earlier than usual, at least. With my, like, midnight streams. It's now around the time I used to start streaming. Or that I usually start streaming. <laughs> what am I saying? Used to. Um, used to implies I don't anymore. Where is that library going to be? Right there. I think Rivet City might be the only, the closest place to help me get there. Or unless I want to go here and then, like, down. Where it says a little closer. And then these are, like, kind of in sectioned off areas, if I recall. A lot of this stuff. I guess we'll start in Rivet City. I don't know why I don't want to do the Replicant Man thing right now. Oh, can't help that guy right now. Carlos. I'm dying. I would if I had any on me. <laughs> I will next time. I'll try. I'll undoubtedly have much lower karma by then. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just looking at these quest items. Okay. Oh, this has been a really fun bunch of Fallout. This might be the longest Fallout section we've ever had. Fall longest Fallout stream. Okay. Woo!